okay. and you'll have plenty of time. Okay, I viewer, know. viewer, viewer, please understand. Viewer. Tonight, tonight is dire straits. It is the most dire of straits. Something terrible has happened. I had a huh? intense, oh, intense craving okay, viewer, for Chipotle. Viewer, viewer. Oh. <laughs> please understand. Tonight, like, tonight like Jesus dire. Christ. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm hearing myself twice. It was not forewarned. And it was not foretold in what, the prophecies. What, 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 just, just, just give me a second. Okay, so look, I had an intense craving for Chipotle. Like, like maybe two hours ago, I was like, "Damn, I really need some Chipotle before I play D and D tonight. I'm going to fucking like explode if I don't get some hot." tacos in me before the fucking D, D happens tonight and i was just like okay okay i'm ready and i started to get ready to go to get chipotle before D D started and then something happened and i fell asleep i don't know how exactly it came about that this happened that i fell asleep like immediately after having this thought but i woke up and it was six o'clock i was like Jesus Christ, where's the Chipotle? Why is there no Chipotle here? And I w wandered over to the computer, and I, w I was just, like, having a panic attack, because I really, really, really <laughs> needed Chipotle before playing D&D &D tonight. But for some reason, I had managed to fall asleep instead of getting food. So, what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to turn stream on, and... Um. It's going to well it, yes it's on okay that that's <laughs> beside the point I'm going to turn stream on and I am going to attempt to play D and D while going to Chipotle and coming back because I need it it is a need it is spiritual to me at this point I need it and I can play by phone and Arthur I need you to do me solid. Can you watch the stream and can you let can you let me know like while we're playing if it cuts out for any reason because I'm basically going to turn the stream on and I'm going to leave my house, get Chipotle and then come back. I don't even know what you're You know what? Let Mike let Mike watch it. I don't he has a better watch it while doing this. I'm just chilling here. Well, he okay. has like a better internet. Well, I well... have the better internet. Yay. Okay, well, which whichever one of you, just keep an eye on the stream for me. If it goes black, if you stop being able to hear yourselves, just check in on it every now and then while I'm gone. And... It's working fine right now. Okay, <laughs> bless your face. Chris, Chris and Jacob have... <laughs> bless your face. I, I really, I need this. I'm going to go now. I'll be right back. All right. What Blackjack's gonna say. Actually, we got a problem. Hang on a second. While you fix that, I let me because I already told you, Ross, what I was going to do, and so I'm just letting everybody maybe absorb before Blackjack actually says it, and I'm gonna recap what I know from what Potato has told me from uh, the other stuff. So basically, um, let me zoom and get to the uh, what the hell? Oh, okay. Um, I need to find the castle just a minute so I can kind of get a refresher in my brain so um from what uh chris had told me we were going to basically uh take a short rest and then so there are a few things mentioned and just let me finish it all up and then everybody can jump in or whatever but as an fyi um they're basically somebody it sounded like somebody had mentioned about traveling back to town and there's some concerns around all the goblins following us and then so we decide oh we're gonna go to wave echo go there directly um and so blackjack would recommend is is likely to do this and so just so you can think about your reaction um it's just as kind of a forewarning so you get some time because i already gave her also a little bit of time um blackjack will probably um have an opinion that maybe we should just go ahead and clear out the castle while we're here and then if we need to go to the town we can still go to the town because we'll have cleared out the castle of goblins um and then also um as a side note we'll be able we have a like basically a half constructed fort that we could donate to somebody or something donate to the town as a as a stronghold for the town's folk if they need to get in trouble they have to rebuild it and stuff but that's kind of the gist that blackjack would say blackjack is going to be for going back and finishing up the keep now while it's here basically uh, well 
I think we were going to have a vote on whether we can, like, if you mention that while we are inside, since you No, we, I would mention it while, because... Oh, that I did not catch. Heck, in that case, if he's going to drive, like, what kind of arrest are you talking about? Like a super-duper arrest? Uh, just a short rest. Just a short rest? Okay. So, then, yeah, while he's driving away, actually, Blackjack would just say, you know what, I think, okay, so let's say that's where we are. Let's say we're at the point of driving away or, you know, whatever, and we're taking a short rest, we're bumbling along, and, and at some point... Basically, from what I heard from Chris, is that somebody had mentioned that. So Blackjack would have been thinking about it. And Blackjack says, you know, if goblins could follow us back to the town, then goblins could go to the town at any time. So I'm thinking, um, and then he hands you back your, your amulet, I guess. He says, I'm thinking that we don't go all the way back to the town first we find a nice safe place rest up real good and when we go back in there and clean the rest out of the goblins that way they can't bother the town anymore at all next um we can offer the town to uh the government so that they can use it as a stronghold it's only and blackjack recalls i don't know if it's accurate or not uh what is it like uh, maybe 20 miles. It's 10 to 20 miles away, I thought, but I don't have a map. Oh, I do have a map. I have a map right here. He pulls out oh. his map, and he says, it's only uh, 10, yeah, maybe 20 or, yeah, maybe 20 miles, 25 miles away. And so he says, this could act as a good stronghold for Fendalen if they needed it. So... I mean, and then that way we could also go back to Fandalen on the way back and stock up before going to, uh, um, well, I feel like there's a lot of good reasons why we should go back. Yeah, there is. Um, honestly, like, I can see still keep fighting. Like, I know that Albrecht probably won't be able to have, be able to use any magic, but I still have a lot of, like, med kits. Medicine. So, I'm all out of spells, but I'm basically in full fighting condition besides that. And I mean, it's just goblins. We didn't explore half the place. Oh, there's also an owlbear. Did we learn that? Do we know that? Is that a thing? There's an yeah. owlbear? Uh, yes. I think Gundren uh, told us. Gundren informed the party about this. There's an owl bear. Um, do I know what owl bears are? I don't think you've made a check, so you should probably make one. Okay, slash gr one d twenty plus like I think this. I don't know. Uh, well, you're pretty sure they might resemble their namesake. Okay, so I could um, I could use my imagination. Um, how big is an owl bear? Uh, big. It's like a bear, but with an owl for a bear. Oh, with a razor tooth, Beep. sharp, yeah, snippety it... snippety. Yeah, we could take it though. And what's okay? Um, da -da 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 -da. I gotta find my notebook. Where's my notebook? Because the only areas that we haven't cleared out of this place so are... We only went through half of the... Not even half of the place, it seems like. We don't know uh, if there's stairs somewhere. Uh, from how bad the roofs caved in and light pouring in, I don't think there is. But we I didn't wait. Go... I look at the other characters. So it sounds like we're all in it to go ahead and go then to go in it 
regardless of whether or not we go now or later, right? Is that what we're saying? I mean, I'd be fine to just do it now, get it over with, and rest in Fandalen. That'd be fine with me, too. We shouldn't be leaving these goblins so close to Fandalen. And I said, what about Gundren? Do we take him in with us, or do we leave him by himself? Uh... He's still injured, right? Out of character, he's still pretty injured, right? Or is I don't he know, all we, healed? We full healed. We I tended to his wounds. Oh, okay. He's well enough that he could. Well, I don't know if he wants to go back in, but he's he is not terribly injured. Out of, out of character, who the hell is motherfucking Essero? That's motherfucking Chipotle. Oh, motherfucking Chipotle. He's he's muted, so we can't hear him. Here, I'll click on them. Unmute. Dude, dude, no. Leave him muted. That is my bot for recording, so I can hear you guys on the stream. Just leave that alone. Why don't. Like... Okay. Because I can't have two accounts active at the same time. Yeah. And I'm on my phone and on my computer at the same time. But so... you could have put it like, recording bot. I could have, yes, changed the name, but all I could think of at the time was motherfucking Chipotle, so that's what it ended up being, Mike. Sorry. I have changed its name. Oh, recording bot. Okay, I, I was about you. to do that, actually. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so it sounded like everybody... Or at least the I have a one-track mind, as it turns out. I'm very sorry. But every, yes, I agree with everything you just said, by the way. Sorry, Mike. Continue. Yeah, I'm going well. to turn Ross down. Yeah, that's what I, exactly what I was getting doing. Yes, <laughs> it's like uh, I'm already at thirty two percent. Um, okay, so yeah, so if if we all want to go in, I mean, hey Gungeon, how are you about clearing out the Kragmaw Castle before we leave here? Uh, I think I might stay out here with the wagon while you guys deal with those goblins. Okay, do you want my crossbow? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have a weapon right now, so oh, okay. that would be good. Uh, well, here's a long sword, and oh. here's a crossbow with 30 bolts. Do you, do you have, like, a, a hammer or something that I could use? Uh... I'd rather have that than a sword. If you don't have one, that's okay. Didn't I have a little hammer. hammer. I have a hand axe, I can get it. Wait, Potato, didn't, didn't he leave his hammer behind? Whenever yeah. he got teleported. Oh, yeah. can I just hand him his hammer back? My hammer! Where did you get it? <laughs> uh, whenever you teleported away the first time. Oh. Because something happened to it. Oh, no, nah, it was just, like, stuck in the ground. I pulled it out. That was incredibly nice of you, by the way. <laughs> well, he's gonna be defending the wagon. It's his stuff. Why not? Are you okay being at the wagon by yourself? Well, yes. I'm not as scared of the forest. I just didn't know if any... Okay. Okay, so... Head back up here, and I place the bear traps back down after we get to the other side. Oh yeah, he won't be able to move his screen, so... People of the internet, you may not be able to see where we go until Chipotle is d complete. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's Damn. okay. It's okay. Wee. Oh shit. I didn't um, consider that. Fuck. It's yeah. okay. Give me control of the orc. Oh. Orc. Or the half orc. Ah. I'm sorry. Technicalities. Yeah. Oh shit. I'll control him. I can do it. There you go. I'll describe it to you too, Ross. All right, cool. And, and for the audience as well, because in in, in my intense what what's a, apparently turning yeah. into gluttony, um, I, we, I think I've the given the ability to see. Yeah, I think the audience understands. So, just for the audience, if there is and whoever, hello. But anyway, um, we're we're going back into the keep. We go up the stairs and we're going into the doors that are doubled and busted and then uh um i keep seeing you guys never even opened that door 
Well, yeah, I know we didn't. Um, but anyway, uh, Lazarus sets two bear traps kind of underneath the door, kind of hidden somewhat, just in case something comes out of those two front doors. And we enter into the building, and we make a left, and we go north through the corridor. There are two doors at the end of the corridor, one on the left, one in front of us. We pass a few dead goblin bodies as we go down the hallway. We are now at the end of the hallway, um, at the facing the uh, hall, uh, the door at the end of the hallway. That's like orthogonal to us, I guess. And Lazarus, Lazarus gonna... faces the door. <clears throat> uh, Lazarus is gonna wield his shield sword in the other hand, and he's gonna push open the door. Before he pushes open the door, I've got my cross. If I see a goblin. A bugbear or a hobgoblin? You gonna shoot it? Yes, I'm gonna shoot it. Pew pew. Okay, uh, first question. Do, do any of you have a light source? On you? Oh, is this uh, all dark in here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty dim where you're sitting right now. You can't see very well. At what uh, point, do, um, do, do you have, have you decided at what point I'm going to end up regaining dark vision? Uh, as for everyone with dark vision, yes, I have, and it's not yet. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, I mean, I'm just asking. On this, on that note, then I would have had my lantern out, my hooded lantern out, um, basically opened it up, you know, all that jazz, and then set it down, loaded my hand crossbow, and then pick up my lantern again. That's kind of where I'd be at. So we're all kind of behind this door. I've got a lantern and a crossbow. Hey, opening the door. I'm yes. looking to sh shoot a goblin or a hobgoblin or a bugbear. Not kobold, though. Pew! I think that gets everything that you can see from where your light source is. Fair enough. Uh, what you can see there in front of you are some, uh, well... I, quick, I make a quick movement this way. There's some casks, and, um, they don't smell very good. We see a long hall with casks and barrels and boxes, and it smells stinky. Move the light. So you will probably upturn his nose and go, you stinky. It's a largish yes. room. It appears to be empty of moving things. Uh, you can see old casks of probably what once was salted meat and sacks of rotting grain in this room. Uh, stay behind me. There is we a will. Oh. I'm going to be looking at the ground while we walk. Looking at the ground. Where's your light source? What? You're the light source and you're in the very back. That's perfectly fine. I think I, I go ahead and say to everyone else, um, just keep in mind I do have my own like throwing weapons. Um, if there's an opportunity to engage a sneak attack, through range projectiles. Uh, give me a second to get in position. Okay. Yeah, you can see there's another murder hole over there. Um, there is a door to your right. Also, uh, now that light source is in the room and everybody can see clearly, uh, you can see that under some of the sacks of grain is a bloody suit of chainmail, heavy crossbow, and a long sword with the emblem of Neverwinter worked into its hilt. Oh, we see that? Wow. Yeah, they're, 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 they're yes. basically sitting underneath some of the sacks of grain. You can see them poking out. Like right here? Or? I point at them with my yeah. lantern. I say, look, over there, wherever they are. They're right next to you. Oh, right I'll... next to me. I say, look, what's this? I'll take a step over and move some of the grain to look at it. Uh, while he's doing that, I say, I'll keep a little bit of watch here. And I go across here. And if I see a hobgoblin, or a goblin, or a bugbear, I'm going to shoot it. Oh, yeah. 
So you're examining the uh, items there? Yeah. Uh, it is a bloody suit of chainmail. A bloody, bloody suit of chainmail. A uh, worn heavy crossbow. And an unsheathed longsword. It doesn't have a scabbard. With the emblem of Neverwinter worked into it. What's the emblem of Neverwinter look like? Kind of like an eye. Okay. I mean, you can you can look it up if you want. You'd know what it looks like. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I'm. Is there like a sack here that isn't filled with a uh, rotten? Uh, there is grain? no sack there not filled with rotten grain. Man, that's really gross. It is gross. It smells horrible. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna empty out one of the sacks and put the uh, stuff in it. The bag still smells. Yeah, but, but not as bad it. as the grain, but it does still smell. And I'll put it like right here. Uh. Neverwinter longsword, uh, some bloody chainmail, and a nice heavy crossbow. This thing could probably back a punch. Let's get it. Let's take it out on our way back through. Is here. Okay. This way? Why would a sword have the emblem of Neverwinter? I don't know. Why indeed? I ask that out loud. It would be belonging to someone from Neverwinter. Do we know anyone that came here is it that was affiliated? Or... or is it like a maker's mark? Is it's it... like work it is worked into the hilt like where the, the um cross guard is. So it's well, I don't know that much about a prominent feature of the, of the weapon. So it's a prominent feature. Yes. Okay. So I would assume if it came from like never into like stamp on it because <laughs> it would be made robot. by someone. <laughs> You're the best robot, Ross. <laughs> Am I a bad robot? <laughs> well, see now we can understand you. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'll try to take it slow so I don't turn into a robot. Um, my logic is, I think if it's got some kind of special heraldry on it, then it's someone who actually worked for the town. Because if it was someone who was just like, it, like if it was just a sword that was just randomly made in Neverwinter, then it'd be made by like a free agent, right? And they wouldn't have any reason to put like the special heraldry on it if they were just making it for just a rando. So I think it would be someone that actually worked for or was affiliated with a council or like governing like maybe law of Neverwinter to where they want it they want it like stamped on their actual weapon. I'd like, like to make an insight check to see if this seems logical. Okay. Or like or likely. And I will make my own insight check or aid his because I I'm using the logic if that makes sense. You know, we do know someone that came from Neverwinter, and who also was a uh, person in power there. Oh, yeah? Sildar. Mm. Was he wearing chainmail when we first met him? Yes. Yes, he was. And when you rescued him, he wasn't. Yeah, this is probably Sildar stuff. How did they bring this chain? Well, I guess they brought his chainmail here, huh? All right. Maybe we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's get in position for this door. Turning left now. All right. Um, the half orc um gets in position, and the half orc is gonna also. Well, half orc is gonna aim. What's the half orc aim at? What's he would have the same. He would have the same settings. He would basically be well, set he to. My settings are. 
what, what, what he he wouldn't know what what's in your brain. Yes, but what he would be doing is he would think back uh, to every kind of enemy that he's encountered here <laughs> so far. Apply that. And apply that, yes. He'd be like, the first of those enemies that I have encountered here that I see when I turn around this corner, I will throw a dart at. He has the dart. Well, Lazarus is getting prepared and pushing open the door. Pushes open the door. Push open the door. And I'm pretty sure, actually, I know all my uh, my combat rolls and bonuses and stuff. Uh, by... I'll be able to roll it for you. All right, or cool. potato can, that doesn't matter to me. Yeah, and you can pull up my sheet, too, I think. No, I know you get, like, all the attacks, so don't worry. So there's stuff! I'd like to there shoot... things. I'd like to shoot the things. Uh, well, the only one you can kind of see... This it's one of these two. Yeah, so I'd like to shoot it. You, you, and I think Zang wants to shoot this one up here with a dart. Uh, yeah, I would be doing that. If it looks like a good shot, I'd be going for it. I'm also going to specify, neither of you have advantage. Oh. That's fine. Okay, so that's, that's okay. They are then. standing there holding their shields up. Oh. Oh, so they were getting ready, okay. So we probably want to still make my you. attack rolls or what? You can you can still make your attack rolls, yes. Sweet. All right. Okay. Here's blackjack plus this. Pew. He misses. And then here is Zang. What's your uh, uh, dex mod? I'm guessing you're using that. My dex mod dart. is plus three. Three with the dart. Wait, it's three now. I'm pretty sure. It was plus two last time because you had 13 AC. I'm pretty sure it's three. Uh, I might be misremembering, I guess. We'll just go with three for right now. All right. There's probably a proficiency bonus in there somewhere. Do either yeah. of those hit, Potato? Uh, no one's attacked. What? I attacked. I rolled. No, I said no one's attacked. Hit. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Ooh. Okay. We're rolling initiative. So just to kind of quickly recap, we made a left, another left, uh, and opened a door. It, it, within the stinky room on the left-hand wall, there's a door, and we're opening it. And I'm shedding light into it, and we see some guys kind of hiding in the shadows, I guess. Okay, so Blackjack's roll. I get... Um... Jack of all trades. I have an announcement. Yeah, you're here. Just about. No, I'm at the Chipotle. Oh, oh, oh. I have, I have rolled uh, Zhang's initiative for Cool. I think I get this for initiative now. Yeah, I get half proficiency. Sweet. Because I'm a Jack of all trades. Now to reorder the people. I like Google's Sheets. It works really well. Cool beans. It's like Excel everywhere. All right. It's actually pretty loud here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and hand over the controls of Zing to Mike, um, and I will be as speedy as I can. I'll be right back. What kind of attacks can I make? Um, Not attacks. You, you smack with a staff and... Yeah, your staff is um, basically... Uh, 1d20 plus 5. Yeah. And then 8 plus, I think, 3 damage. And then the unarmed strike is 1d20 plus 4. And then 1d4. Do I get 3 attacks or 2 attacks? Two. You get 2 attacks um, without spending any key. Oh, okay. Is it 1 key per bonus attack? Yeah, so if okay. you if you if you want to do a, a three first, attack, it would be yeah. spending a key point. Okay, and Which... that, that key point has to be an unarmed. Uh, yeah, same for okay. the second punch. How about you just do it, uh, Arthur? Okay, you seem to know it pretty well. Sure. Awesome, cool beans. Give Arthur control. Well, it's, it's, you see these hobgoblins? They uh. 
they have long swords and shields, and they are wielding them in such a manner that, uh, yeah, those attacks didn't do much anything to them. Patink, patink, yeah, okay. And it is Albert's turn. Damn. Wow, speedy dwarf. Um, move up here and swing my hammer at the one that I'm next to. Your hammer crushes into a shield. So that's not a hit? That is not a hit. Okay, end of my turn. Now it is Zhang's turn. Uh, I cannot control him. Oh, okay. Just... Well, here, here. Zhang will just move up to here. And... Here, no, oh. everybody can control. Oh. Well, Zhang's gonna move... Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he gonna provoke an opportunity attack? No, he's not. He went from here to Albrecht Square. Yeah, from here to Albrecht Square, and through it, right there, and then there, and there. Yeah, you're, uh, you're kind of going out of his threat range. Oh, there's another dude over there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, he can stop his movement whenever. Yeah, That's okay, so I then he... something is because he can stop his move. Blackjack on his turn is going to set down the lantern in a somewhat more optimal position. There is dim light filtering into the room, so you can't actually see once you're... It just helps to have that. No, yeah, it makes sense why he couldn't do the other one, so... Hmm. So, Zhang moved in. Uh, he's gonna smack the same one that Albert smacked. He holds up his shield. Ah, but you managed to, uh, hit around his shield. How, how much health does Zhang have? Uh, he should be at full. He used the, his, uh, health points, or his hit dice during the short rest. Man, I kind of almost want to go all the way around and flank just because otherwise he may get thrashed depending on where you're at in initiative, but anyway. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. He does this much damage. Oh, jeez. Awesome. Um, I like OGs. Yeah, OGs means, uh, you uh, you actually clonked him right in the face with that, and he just crumples to the ground. And Zing's just gonna try and axe kick the other guy down. Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, he killed he killed that guy, so he keeps moving. Make him keep oh, moving. Then, yeah, make him keep okay, moving, and then kick him. him. Yeah, and then kick him. Kung Fu fighting. R roll okay. another one. That's got to be a song that goes on the playlist. Everybody okay. was Kung Fu fighting. So he, oh. is the first one hit? No. Oh, wait. The, what do you mean the first one? <laughs> well, roll again because one. you have advantage. Yeah. So did the first one hit? That was a 16. No. Okay. That was just me asking since you asked me to roll again. I would have asked you to roll again anyway. Yeah, so you have advantage. Okay, well. Uh, that missed, so that's the end of Zeng's turn. Alright. Just so you know where you're standing is difficult terrain right now. Zeng. Do I see a hole in the wall right here? Is that what the hole in the wall? Uh, no, there actually is wall there. It's just obscured by the monster. There is a wall. Oh, okay. Fact, that is, like, rock. <laughs> it's enough that you cannot see into the room. I was just checking. I didn't know if, if Black Tech could go through there. That's all. Uh, no, there is no way you are going to. It's very obvious. That... It's a wall. Yeah, it's a wall. Okay. Is that the end of Zeng's turn? Yeah, it is. Awesome is turn. turn. That's a hell of a turn. Lazarus gets in the way. <sighs> and and is, okay. putting, and is putting his back to the door and slicing at this.
Oh, slash indeed. He doesn't go down, but you you did indeed seriously wound him. Okay, he's my marked target, and that's the end of my turn. All right. This hobgoblin moves up and tries to stab you with his sword. I block it with my shield. What What is your AC currently? 18. Ooh, he just manages to reach around your shield and hit you. Ow. For four damage. That's a little tiring. He poked me. Man, everybody got really good initiative. You had the worst initiative out of everyone. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, mine isn't really that bad. But, man, wow. He's gonna stab at Zang. Oh, that is definitely hitting Zang. Scratches his sword across your arm for unrecognized command. <laughs> for two damage. Unrecognized command. Now it's the guy you attack. Oh he man, that one like... by himself. He doesn't like me. No, he doesn't like you, but he can't seem to hit you. That's fair. Blackjack. I dropped my crossbow, and I'm going for cool 5th edition action, because I'm getting better at 5th edition. Okay, so I drop my crossbow, and while moving, I'm going to be unsheathing my... Excuse me, Albrecht! Wahoo! He dodges Albrecht, kicks the chair out of the way, because he's cool like that. And then, uh, as he's saying... Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that. Sorry, I moved backwards, because I realized I don't have to do that. So, yeah. He's going to be doing this, and then when he's in Albrecht Square, he's going to make an attack. And keep moving, because he's awesome like that. Um... Shazam! You stab the, him. The guy, distracted by Zang, gets stabbed right into the back. For, um, slash GR. This should be faster. I have to do this first one. Oh, it's... Okay, no, yeah. Plus this. Plus that. Yeah, plus that. For a little bit of damage. But it's enough. Oh, it's enough to kill him? Yeah. He was Sweet. I clamber up up the rubble. And I point my sword down at them. You'll be next. Rapscallions. Turn done. Albert. I clutch my holy symbol, raise it high, and cast Sacred Flame on that one. This one? Yeah, that one. So he has to save, correct? Yeah, dex 13. He brushes off your flames. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Zing. Zing claw. He whips his shield around and blocks your attack. Zing punches him in the face. He blocks again with his shield. Uh, it's Zing's turn. Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus is gonna dab the other guy that actually hit him. He has advantage on. Him. 
Does that hit? Uh, yes, yes, that does. Okay, I'm back. Ah, uh, you clobber him, but he does not fall down. Okay. He's marked, and that's the end of my turn. All right, well, it's, it's his turn. Since he blocked your move, Zeng's move, he's going to try to stab Lazarus. Oh. Ha. Ah. He manages to scritch past your armor for five damage. Ow. No, you're lucky he rolled a crit on that. He just rolled very low. And the other one is also going to stab at you. This is fun. And it bounces off your armor again. He cannot hit you for some reason. Pating, pating. Um. Okay. Cool. So, just as FYI to everybody tonight, because kind of freaking crazy. But the beer of the night is Captain Jack's Stone. Like I don't know. Uh, stone crab stout it's brewed with crab claws <laughs> motherfucker um it's actually pretty good it's, it's kind of weird but anyway after saying his short speech on top of the rubble blackjack dashes down the rubble not uh mechanically but uh figuratively dashes down the rubble gets in a place and goes aha as he tries to stab him from right there He barely gets his shield in the way. Oh, pating! And he finishes his movement right here. Turn done. Albert? I once more raise my symbol and sacred flame that one. This one this time. Yep. Ah, uh, he burns! How much does he burn for? He burns for that much. He burns to the ground. Stays there. <laughs> Stays there. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Okay, Zang. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. To the and truffle shuffle. You carefully step over the straw beds on the floor. And... Yeah, beat him. Your careful stepping was not careful enough, and he wiggles out of the way. You did not have to dodge that one. You just compl you hit the wall. That is the end of Zeng's turn. Lazarus. Stabity, stabity. That's a lot of questioning, questioning. Stabity. And he goes down. Sword. So, well, to re recap to the viewers, we had entered a room uh, with hobgoblins and stinky hobgoblin beds and a busted out wall. And we killed them. I guess I should read the description of this room to you. There Preferably are, when we open the door. There are four plain straw pallets <laughs> and bed rolls lined up on the floor, on, on the floor of this room. Uh, I have obtained, you have obtained a plus one bag of tacos that is very, very enchanting and enchanted with the powers of being warm and hot and good. Well, brackets on the walls of this room have a number of weapons on them. Spears, swords, morning stars. We can arm the townsfolk with these. Well, that's a really good idea. The north wall shows serious signs of damage. I mean, you can, I hope, sure hope you can see that. That's a lot of damage. But the floor, at least around where the beds are, has been swept clean of rubble. There's also a bucket with some water in it over there. Bucket? It's a bucket. <laughs> I'm a loop these guys. 
give me a perception check for investigation if that's <laughs> excuse me you manage to uh search their pockets and you find four gold three silver and 14 copper okay say that don't, again don't do it don't split it up amongst us just keep it <laughs> four gold three silver 14 copper Maybe every time I repeat it, I should change the numbers just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I can't really hear you over, like, Mike going, no, no. No, no. Well, there's all that. So, oh. yeah, there's that, and then there's the weapons that are on the walls. We can fill the cart later. Yep. Let's head over here. As he walks out of the room. Into the darkness. Well, actually, we should probably search this room. We just did. Search the... the. These are bedrolls, right? They're just lying on the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. There's straw pallets and bedrolls lined up on the floor. The bedrolls right. are being used we'll, as pillows. L- yeah, to your point, we'll shuffle them. We lift them up, look under them, and we do all that there's, stuff. There's, there's nothing in them. We pallets. investigate. Okay. We find on. Oh, how clean is this bear rug or this rug of some kind? What oh, is it that? Is, it is. It is an animal hide. Has been on the floor at this point. They're not sure what kind of animal it was. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Oh God, that's that's terrifyingly disgusting. Well, it had fur at some point. Ugh. There, there's bits of where there are not fur on it now. All right, uh, Zang and I do the ready to action thing, where if we see. Well, actually, I'm doing the thing where if I see uh, goblins, hobgoblins, or um, bugbears, and he's doing the thing, if he sees something he has seen before here, he will try to kill it with the dart. Uh, All previous enemies, basically, in this place, yes. Yeah. Or a drow. Carefully. Open the door of care. You know, when I have the wrong tool out of the. I'm going to see how the Twitch. The Twitch is probably looking kind of funky because they can't see where we're going. Well, as long as you, the voices are coming through, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, that's good. That's the important part. See a room with a stone altar. It rises several feet out of the ground there. What's what's down here? What's this? Curtains. Uh, in the south of it. There, there are two archways to the south. And they are covered in heavy curtains. And this is just a like a broad like a, a broad little, alcove. Like yeah, it's just a little alcove. There doesn't appear to be anything. Okay. Oh, so it's almost like this room is a big circle, and then it's got like okay some edges it's to it. Almost like it's a tower. Oh, is it really? Yes, like can you look tower. up? But it doesn't I'm have any watch... stairs. There are Maybe. no bears or owls or owl bears. What about stairs? Stairs, I do. Okay, so it's just a big open tower. Yes. I'm going to watch my footing as I... He's really paranoid for traps. <laughs> yes, paranoid for traps. Is it bright in there? Uh, There is light filtering in from above. I, I don't blame Lazarus for being paranoid considering the last trap he tripped caused an entire room to explode. I've triggered, like, every single trap in this party. He's triggered by traps. You step cautiously into the room (laughs) and get shot three times. Really? Well, they're shooting at you. I mean, Who's they? uh, The goblins hiding behind the altar that you didn't see. Oh, snap. Well, at least I have the dodge action. Hello. Oh, shit. Oh, I see it. We see them. Can we shoot at them, too? Uh, no, I'm afraid they're getting the surprise on this one. Oh. Damn. Well, they don't have advantage. Oh, for the record, I got my crossbow. Yeah, you were, you were being very, uh, paranoid, so, yeah, you kind of, you're kind of like, I kind of expected this while they're shooting at you. So, I expected this! Uh, uh, uh. They don't have advantage, so yay! That's And only a little one in the back manages to hit you. Tick-tock, tick-tock. 
but he hits you for a whole eight damage. Ooh. Could be rough. He is going... Was it this one back here? It's the one yes, in the back. The one in the back there. It'd be the first one I murdered. Well, it's time to roll for initiative, children. Oh, yeah. Um, do do do. I think this is mine. Do you mean roll for uh, Zang? Yeah, so, yes, please. Yeah, you're saying I'll be right back. My initiative is low, so I'll just be right back. All of you have a... like, yeah. like, all of the goblins had a higher initiative than you. Well, I still have the dodge action, so. Now they have disadvantage. Well, the first thing that's happening is this one. He's a little bit... I wouldn't say he's bigger than the other two, but he's a little bit more well-dressed. His, his scimitar looks slightly less beat up. But he's coming over, and he's going to try to slice at you. Uh, well, he has disadvantage, so I put the shield in one. Wait, why does he have disadvantage? I took... The dodge action. As I oh, walked yeah. in. Oh yeah, you said you did say you were doing that, didn't you? Yeah. That's a really smart idea, Arthur. Like, if if you're walking around and in front, that you just take the dodge action as a as a reflex thing. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Actually. It works really it's like, well. I just unfortunately, this guitar does hit home. Well, at least he didn't crit me. No, he didn't. You take two damage. Woo! Ask him to kill him, then. Okay, then this one's going to jump up on the altar. Over here and try to slash down at you. My shield's, like, already in that direction. So, still disadvantage. Well, um... This sucks for you, because he also hits. They have disadvantage, but when his low rolls an 18. Eh. He strikes you for 4 damage. And then the little one comes out. And he shoots his bow at you. Maybe this one I'll actually have my shield get in the way. Back? Is it my turn? You managed to get your shield in the way of his arrow. Oh, I thought you were going to say, managed to get your turn. Lazarus is just getting fucked up. In the f it hasn't been anyone's turn yet. It's just been oh. the goblins. Okay, my eyes were killing me, so I had to take my contact, so... But it's, it's Zang's turn first. Uh, oh, is Zang at least eight squares away from them? At yeah. Least. No. Well, okay, you, Zang's gonna run over to one and whack it with his at least. least. You are not eight squares away from Here. Them. Yeah, so let's say Zang runs... Let's max him. You wanna smack Wait, actually, guy? hang on. If, if they're more than eight squares away, then I would throw a dart. Uh, they are not more than they're not. Than yeah, you're within range. Okay, if I'm if I'm within range to do staff whacking, then I do staff whacking. If I'm right, not in yeah. range to do yeah. yeah, we got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Do, got it. do you want to hit the big one or the smaller one? Uh small ones. Yeah. Which one was hit first already? Did any any of them get None. attacked yet? No. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you the guys all had sucky initiative and their initiative was better. He okay. smacks the small one. Actually, end up hitting, you hit the altar trying to hit him. Damn it. Attack, 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 attack. Use all your yep. kung fu. And then I use my um, unarmed strike to hit it. You catch him in the shin. Is that like damage or is that just yes, that's damage. flavor? Okay. That much damage. Ah. He hurts, but he does not die. Uh, kill him. Final blow! 
Hats up to Ross. Uh, nah, I'm I'm gonna leave it there for now. Then Albert, because I don't think I have. I, I need to reassess my key points before I can. Uh, do that. No, you have all three. Yeah, you use. Oh, one. okay. If, if I have all three, then I'll go ahead and spend a key point. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good time to use one. He hasn't used any now. No, he used one up. Oh, he didn't, did he? Yeah, yeah he, he took a it. short rest. Oh, yeah. no, I was thinking he used it in last encounter for three attacks. Nope. No. Nah. Okay. So he smacks the little one again. You crack your knuckles on the altar. It doesn't feel very good. Well, okay, well, at least I tried. I was encouraged by my team to do that. That's fine. Um, you who moved there. How did you get there? <laughs> I moved through the two squares right there. Well, then I... the, the slightly nicer one's going to take a whack at you with a sword. Lazarus okay. throws his shield in the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Impose disadvantage for the reaction. Sweet. Ah, and the shield blocks it. Awesome. And then I bop the goblin over here with my hammer. Oh, you, 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 yeah, you bop that, yeah. Oh, awesome. Sweet. This is kind of giving away what I rolled, but for crits, I rolled two weapon dice, right? Yeah, you yep. double the weapon dice, but not anything else. Okay. Double. He is double dead. That is more. Oh. And he crumples to the ground under the hammer blow. And Good that's job. the end of my turn. Blackjack. Blackjack steps five feet forward, takes aim and fires. Oh, is he not dead yet? No, oh, he is dead. Okay. Takes aim and fires at the one in the back. Actually, no, fires at the one right here because I can deal more damage if I do that, if I hit him. It's either deal more damage or maybe I kill the one I don't really know. So I'm going to go with the more damage one. Your bolt finds home. Oh, right! Right in his shoulder! 2d6. Blood goes everywhere as he deals this much damage. Ah, uh, he staggers a bit. And I drop a crossbow bolt, preparing to draw my sword. Although I could do that anyways. He at this screeches point. So at I, you. I draw my sword! He doesn't like what you just did. Turn done. Lazarus. Well, first off, I'm going to second win, because, ow. Yeah, you got, they basically got two free rounds on you. I have to take that guy. Screeches. It's horrifying. It unnerves you when you miss. Uh... Get around him. I I'm a... I'm going to go here. Again. Let's try it again? Action, sir. He, is, he has an action, sir. Hmm. This time he opens his mouth to screech, and you hit him with your sword. Right in the mouth. You hit him in the mouth with your sword. You actually decapitate him, mostly. At his the jaws mouth. Left. His jaw is left. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Gotta make one of those weird Walking Dead zombies. Yep. Uh, Tungle. Can I stand here? <laughs> oh, that was a hell of a mental image. Can I stand there? Uh, you would be on top of the altar or squeezing. Oh. One of the two. Oh, the ball. No, you can get on top of the altar if you want to. It I'll just cost you an extra movement to get up there. Can I get here without squeezing? Uh, I agree to disagree on the squeeze on that altar. Well, that's you. And yes, you can get into that square without squeeze. I'm cut off his his uh, way to flee. Okay, I'm back home, so I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Well, 
Chomping. Someone else can cut him off, then. That's the end of my turn. Is the guy dead? He's so dead, he doesn't even know it. <laughs> He's still kind of screeching. It's terrifying. It's the tongue sound, that's what it is. That. <laughs> okay, so that was... Then it's... Uh, Goblin. He drops his short bow, turns around, and stabs at thee. I just, like, parry with my sword. <laughs> just like parry, man. You do manage to parry his attack. Barely. And then it's Zhang's turn, but... No, Zhang's gonna go all like, Pa-pa! Kung Fu! Everybody was Kung Fu fighting! He'll get to here, and then he's gonna do the, the jig jog move this after he does any and all of his attacks on this square. Or maybe first he just moves, first he goes one, two, three, and then four, and then five, and then six. And he's attacking in combat advantage every time. Or he could just stand there, punch twice, then move. It doesn't matter. It's the same effect. But Zeng's cooler like that. So yeah, he gets combat advantage for the two attacks. And maybe he makes a third. Who knows? Well, he hits with the first attack, so you should roll damage. I don't know how. I, I have it. Awesome. Someone's rolling. You the yeah. man, Arthur. You the man. Uh, he, he falls down. And with no other enemies, he goes for a, a finisher. A finisher. Oh, no. What's the finisher? Describe it. Where the hell's Ross? He can describe his own finisher. It doesn't finisher. matter. You can describe it. You do it. Finish Please. him. It's a curb stomp. All has been mended with the world. Everything is great now. You committed a finisher of curb stomp. Thank you for dealing with that. And Blackjack gets the, uh, oh, you gotta figure out where we are on the screen. And then Blackjack picks up his, uh, she's his sword and picks up his hand crossbow and loads it. as, And as he's loading it, the light flickers and dangles and such and makes ting, ting, ting noises. Okay, and... so this chamber occupies the northern tower of the castle. There is a stone altar, which that goblin is now dead on, in the middle of the room, covered with a blood-stained black cloth. It was already bloody before you killed the goblin on it. There are, looks like, maybe some uh, ritual implements of some kind. Uh, chalice, a knife, and a censer are carefully arranged on top of the altar. There are two archways to the south covered with heavy curtains. That little alcove is just that, a little alcove. Hmm, Blackjack says. So you said there is a chalice, a bloody yes. dagger, and a, a, and a sense? Well, What's a censer? Say... Censure or censer? C-E-N-S-E-R. It's a thing you like burn in some sense. Yes. Same oh, an inst- oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I got you. Lazarus. Is it still burning? Uh, no. No, it is not burning. Okay. But, oh, also, I should mention, they're all made out of gold. What? Well, they're ritual implements. They aren't, like, that's not a real knife. It's a gallant knife made out of they're gold. They're all made out of gold. Yeah. So they're all gold. Holy they're crap. They're all gold. Lazarus is just going to search the, the people. The goblins do not have any money on them. I would like to examine these, uh... Ritual devices and attempt to determine for what they are being used. Like, uh, what religious -y rituals would use them or something? I'd also okay. like to take a knowledge religion check to see if I know what god this is devoted to. Okay. I'm Thanks. going to assist him. Because I'm going to assume he sees me doing that. So that's what you see. You see me doing that. I'm going to make a 
assumption here. If that's quick with potatoes, that dwarf sees me looking at it real hard. And he says, what are you looking at? And I say the things. And he says, okay, let me look too. And then I'm, I'm going to assist him. That's a bit of an assumption. Because I assume he's more knowledgeable about me than religious stuff. Okay, as far as uh, Alberts mm -hmm. goes, you aren't really sure what god they would have been praying to because you don't recognize these as implements that they would have been using. Okay. What was your check again, Blackjack? My my check was to assist. Oh, well, yeah, you assisted. And so what, what do you know? I have no idea what these are being used for. Oh. They are made uh, out of solid gold, though. Does anybody have a spare bag we can put all these in and maybe figure it out? We can take it to town or something. Uh, yeah. Put them in a separate bag. You never know. I put the implements in a separate bag. Oh, I have misspoken. I have misspoken. They're already gold. You can't retcon the gold. I'm not retconning the gold. I'm retconning that you he wouldn't have known what they were for. Oh, so he does? They were they were uh, indeed used in a ritual to consecrate this place to their god Maglubiet. Out of character, I know what that is. Um, in character, do you relay that information to me? Yes, I would say that Maglubiet. Um, who's Maglubiet? I ask you out loud, and I'm also thinking, let's see if I know who Maglubiet is. Do I know Maglubiet? Would I know Maglubiet, then, if I know that it was used for that? Yes. You know who Maglubiet is. Who's Maglubiet? He's uh, the, the, the god goblin of goblins god. and hog goblins. That's what he is. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I'd say these were used in a ritual to consecrate this place for Maglubiet, the god of goblins and hog goblins. Ah, I, w I know who Maglubi is, but I wasn't aware of this ritual. Excellent. Um, so maybe we get the priestess in here and we unredone this concentrated. I, I wouldn't say that in character. You're pretty but. sure with killing that goblin on the altar undid anything they did. I'm sure? I don't know. You still have things made of gold. Oh yeah, so but we'll we'll warn the priestess. We'll let her know. So Maybe it, she can consecrate it for good, for luck. So it's chalices and a golden ritual knife. Golden chalice, chalice, golden knife, golden censer. And I, blackjack says, I'm not sure if I want to look behind those curtains yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'll stand back oh. while somebody else opens those curtains. Okay. I get in position and... I get my crossbow ready and fire. I want to fire at a hobgoblin or a goblin or a bugbear. I carefully move them aside. Carefully move them aside. Aside with you. It's, it is actually light inside. Oh, cool. On first notice that it's light inside, and I don't see a hobgoblin, goblin, or um, bugbear, I... Oh, what did I do? Close my... I, I blow out the hooded lantern and there quickly put it in my backpack. Uh, there is a wall. You can see there is light coming from right here, and you can see the edge of a brazier. Well, I'm going to watch my footing as I head on in. Peek around that corner. Peek around the corner. You see another brazier. They're both lit. They aren't like burning real bright, but it's bright enough that the room is in bright light. Huh. Hey, Ross, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Well, as I say, they're casting bright light around them enough, but, like, the ceiling and stuff is in shadows. 
but they aren't real. It's kind of empty in here. I'm, I'm going to look around while still being a bit on guard. I give Zing a little shove. I would be following, let's see, behind. Maybe just one square behind the cleric. I've got my crossbow out and my sword now. As you walk around, you can see there is a shiny gold piece. One shiny gold piece. One that's gold not, piece. That's not foreboding at all. Yeah, it's not foreboding in the slightest. Ah. What are you doing there? Just walking around? Yeah, just look at it. Scratch the back of my head. Uh, that's kind of weird. Is there a gold piece here? As you ponder, something drops down from the ceiling. Do you have our passive perception? Is that doing anything for us? Uh, this guy rolled really good, honest. I'm, no, I'm just checking. I just... Uh, you see, I do have your passive perceptions. No, none of you beat his stealth. Okay, no, that's fine. I just, you just didn't even have to check because it sounded like you had already checked. I didn't have to check because he rolled an 18 and he has a nice big old plus. Oh, dang. Mine's like a <laughs> fifth or 13. Mine's a, yeah, mine's a 13. His roll was above your passive percent. I know, I know. That's why I said dang. So I didn't check, but I knew a route around where yours were, and I knew it wasn't that high. Okay, so go to the other player. Hi. Thing drops down from the ceiling. Thing? Ah. Uh, thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh, shit. It has tentacles. <laughs> and it's, it's oh, whipping geez. the tentacles. Tentacles with teeth. Uh, can I make a free knowledge check on what the hell that is? Well, yes, you can. Nature. Does it that D20? Yeah, yeah. You don't think that thing is very natural? Uh, As it tries to tentacle you. Can I see this happening? Uh, you can see the thing dropping and reaching out with its tentacles as it falls. Okay, then in that case I'm rolling initiative, I guess. Well, it's getting a surprise attack on Lazarus before you roll initiative. And oh yeah, it, I know. I just love it, having x-ray vision, that's all. Woo! Oh shoot, you are behind a wall. You... X-ray vision for me! Mean. You're mean. <laughs> that's why you got an 8 for initiative. Well, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It's not. Arthur was like, "Ah, oh, crap, guys, a monster." He's like, "Oh, oh, wow." Oh. And he does indeed tentacle you. Well, well, <laughs> he tentacles you for nine. It whips around across your shoulder, ripping off flesh for nine damage. Well, this isn't. How those stories go with underage characters? Why would you say something like? That? And you had a tentacle monster attack an underage character. That's about the only reason. He did That wasn't just because he chose, though. Yeah, I know. Over it. It's... I'm rolling here. Eight. I'll be back again. Yours gets a decent amount. And Zane gets... Oh. Shit on. You're, you are horrified by the look of that monster, so it, it makes you a little bit slower. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. I mean, look at it. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. It? It's not very good. And none of you know what it is. I'm back. That's because I haven't seen it yet. It's Albrecht's turn. I'm terrified by whatever this is. I move up here and try to 
destroy it with my hammer. It also has a beak, by the way. Yeah. That makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a worm with tentacles and a beak. But like the tentacles are part of its mouth. Beak. Yeah, the tentacles are on the front of it, like they're part of its mouth. Kind of like a squid. Yeah, it's like a squid with four tentacles. And you a smash into it with your hammer. A squid worm. You hit. The fear is strong in this one. I hit for that much. It recoils a bit. Right, makes this weird gurgling noise. And then it tries to tentacle you. Oh. What, what's your AC? I think this hits, but what's your AC? 18. Yeah. Yeah, you have been tentacled. For how much have I been tentacled? For nine damage. That's and then, as it, as it peels your flesh from your body, it tries to bite you with its beak. What? Those shenanigans. But the shenanigans, and he bites into you with his beak. Oh my gosh. It hurts a lot. It hurts for ten damage. Ow. Oh, shit. So that's a total of 19, then. Yes. Yes, that's a total okay. of 19 damage. And now it's Lazarus' turn. Well, seeing that bullshit happen, he steps there, and he's going to slash into him with Talon. The slash. You hit. Oh, wow. That much flashy day. It makes the weird gurgling noise again. It's Blackjack's turn. Um, Blackjack has no idea what's going on, so he's <laughs> kind of got his uh, crossbow in his left hand kind of shaky as he hears bad stuff happening. He gets to about here, and he sees the rest of the room, and he sees an opportunity. So he goes, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And he fires a crossbow bolt at him. While sheathing his sword, actually. Um, let's see here. Pew! He misses. Ah, uh, it bounces off one the of the wall. braziers. Oh, okay, the brazier. It, that's it, it hits the wall after it bounces off. <laughs> he goes, patoo, patoo. <laughs> then it's Lazarus's turn. That's not uh, right. It's Sang's turn. <laughs> okay, I don't like this thing. I'm gonna hit it with my freaking staff and make it go away. Whack. That gold wasn't a trap at all. Its tentacles distract you and you miss. Oh I try to God. grab one of the tentacles. Um, and punch it in the face with its own tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. It just gives you a really odd look. It doesn't even have eyes, and it gives you a really odd look. Well, it's Albert's turn again. As he's screaming in pain for how much damage he just took, he also swings his hammer around wildly and tries to kill this thing. Uh, wildly. You hit with your wild swings. <laughs> and it crunches much. into him. You hear what might be, but you hear something breaking when you hit it. You aren't sure what it is. But it doesn't, it, it's looking pretty bad now. Alright, it's in my turn. It wiggles its tentacles around. And then goes after Lazarus. 
tries to tentacle you. Put my shield in the way. What's your AC right now? 18. He doesn't have disadvantage, does he? Nope. Well, then I'm afraid you're being tentacled. They wrap around your arm, twisting. It hurts. For nine more damage. Uh-oh. And then he leans in for a bite. Uh... I put my sword into his face. <laughs> into his mouth. How, how are you doing that? I, I'm not, but, I mean, it might make him go, maybe I don't want a sword for breakfast. Role play. He nibbles on your sword. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> then it's your turn, Azarus. Well, while he's nibbling on the sword, I'll try to do the same thing as the other goblin and cut off his head. Or what constitutes as a head? I was about to say, this is a worm, so I don't know. The thing at the end of the mouth thing. Well, you chop into it. That much magical it stuff. Cleave what you think is its head off, and it stops moving. I proceed to stab it a few more times. You hear more weak gurgling noises as you stab it. Even more times. They like stop. A flame on its corpse. <laughs> Not much happens. Well, that was as terrifying as it looked, and as painful as it looked. <laughs> and nobody knows what this thing was. Oh, it was just this tentacle thing. I would like to make a uh, nature check myself. Because I never did. And I still see its body, and I recall it, what it was doing. A I'll cast guidance on him for that check. Oh, sweet. Um, what does that do? You get an extra d4 to it. Okay. You're pretty sure this is not a normal way. I was on the wrong thing there. Oh. You're not entirely sure what this thing is exactly, but you know it is not a natural mon. It is a monstrosity of some sort. It is not a normal mon. Is it an... Um, I don't know if that's the right word, but... Um, also, while looking at it, you can tell why it was e easily able to hide from you, as its color and the modeledness on its skin kind of resembles stone. And it's hiding is dungeoneering it. still a thing? Nope. No, dungeoneering isn't there. You use okay. either arcana, history, nature, or religion. Yeah. Arcana, history, nature, or religion. And they or if you're yeah, in they a library. Or if you're in a library, investigation. Okay, well, I'll use Arcana then. Um, and I cast Gaints on that Arcana check. Oh, sweet! Plus this and this. Oops. Um. So you have to actually add it there. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just roll just four, and then you can add it to that big, big number. All right, there we go. You are fairly certain that this is a rather unusual creature called a Grick. What do I know about Gricks? Well, you know a little bit. You know that they are very they are worm like creatures that blend into stonework and then stones and hide there and wait for people. And uh, then they ambush them and try to eat them. Hmm. But I know that they ambush people and try to eat them, right? Yes. Hmm. I step up and I get a closer look. Um, you see Blackjack think for a minute? Blackjack, um, says, excuse me one moment. Uh, as he goes, uh, to stand over the Greek. 
And then he cuts open his belly. You cut open his belly. Do I find any goodies? Spoils of any sort of people that were eaten before or something. I don't know. Uh, you find really a really gooey, disgusting mess. That's it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I pick up the gold. And I have one gold piece. <laughs> um, I look at uh -huh. the three and I go, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, who wants the gold? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, one gold. Come I on. give some medicine to Albert. Thank you. That many hit points. All right. Sweet. Wow. I actually thought one of you guys might go down that time. Eh. We got fairly close. I'm gonna see what's behind this door, you guys. Yeah, if it had hit anyone but me for that 19, I think someone would have gone down. That is also a heavy curtain. This is a curtain? Yeah, it's a big curtain. It looks like a door. Yeah, I know, but it's a curtain. Oh, I... Oh, uh, I could have sworn it was a door from the other side. Um... I open the curtain. I look through the curtain. You see the front room area. The dead goblins there. Okay. I turn to Zink. Can you do any more like that healing touch stuff? I open the uh, other curtain. Uh, let me think just a sec. See the area where uh, you killed those hobgoblins? Okay. Okay. Going towards towards where the owlbear is. Lazarus, uh, go ahead and regain uh, six hit points, and then that'll be the that'll be all I can do. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all I've got. That's my full pool for the day. Well, me and Albert can't take any more medicine for. It. I'm not too bad off anymore. Let's get yeah. going. Okay. Let's go through this curtain that looks like a door. Lazarus is right ahead of you on that. So we have down here, and we have over here. Let's let's go down this way first, maybe, as uh uh blackjack points. We are walking. We... Blackjack steps out of the way so that uh, Zen could go before Blackjack. Blackjack blows a crossbow bolt. By the way, Chris, um, as far as my darts go, I'm collecting them after every battle. Do I have to actually say that? Uh, no, no. no. Alright, thank you. You don't have to explicitly say that. It's assumed that you're recollecting your ammunition. Alright, thank you. Chris is just an awesome DM. Well, there's no reason that you wouldn't do it, so, I mean, I'm not going to assume you're sp specifically leaving behind ammunition. That would be really kind of silly. Okay, let me get to that area. Okay, that is a large, iron, there is in front of you a large iron door. That is what that is, is a large iron door. A large iron door, like the whole thing is made of iron? The entire door is made out of iron. Is it, does it have like little rings on it so that you push or pull it that way, or? It has a handle on it and a large mechanism that looks like it might be some kind of lock. Is there any sort of like slidey look hole? Uh, no, there is no slidey look hole. Uh, I'm a undo the lock. Okay, give me a unlocky things check. Well, I mean, like, 
would I have to like pick it, or is it just one of those like? It's a sleight of hand check, I believe. No, I think oh. he just is doesn't it? understand your description, Chris. Oh, it is a mechanism that appears to be locking the door that would appear to require a key of some sort. There you go. Have we picked up any keys off of anyone? Including the big bugbear that we killed. Did we get the keys off anybody we searched and maybe we forgot or something? I did not give you any keys. I'll try and undo it. Uh, what do you use to perform this? By the hand? <laughs> Sticking your hand inside of a lock. How big is the hole? You didn't tell him, so he just figured it was a really big hole. Well, you said, like, mechanism, so I, I was like, do I just, like, pull some levers, pull some switches in, like, the correct order, or am I just, like... It's like you need to put a key in and turn it. I uh, see that... him struggling with this, and I say, Blackjack can solve this one. Well, despite having the really... Fail, I want a description of how you did it. Blackjack uh... puts his crossbow bolt away, sets the light down to provide enough light. Actually, he would say, he says, hold this, please. He hands a his hooded lantern to Zhang, and he says, if you don't mind, he holds it. shine it in the area. He does it. He uh, pulls open his trench coat, reaches into his trench coat, and whips out what appears to be a small leather bag. He opens the leather bag, containing a variety of small iron uh, picks and um, sticks and um, uh, tweezers and such. And he goes to work trying to pick the lock. Um... Let me see here. Yeah, with his uh, thievery tools that he does carry with him. Um, this plus this plus this. As you put your implements into the lock and fiddle around for a bit, it's obvious the uh, the lock is unlocked. <laughs> You're pretty sure your friend succeeded in unlocking it. Oh, I thought he just didn't put his hand in there. I'm so no, confused right I was now. Asking, I was asking him how he did it. And then and you sort of just then you took stepped over. up. Nobody said anything. I'm so confused. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Okay, retcon. I never did that. I'm back here. And... No, no, was... no. Just No, no, you did it. You just didn't realize he unlocked it. No, like, literally, like, it sounded like he didn't even stick anything in there. So I would... I, I figured he didn't. You didn't see it. Poor lighting. Okay. Let's just go with that. Anyways, he does it. He says, well, it's unlocked. And he steps back. Oh, and Lazarus. he asks Zang for the uh, lantern. Lazarus puts his shield up in front of him and she's open the door. Uh, kobolds, goblins, and... Oh, no. Uh, goblins, hobgoblins, and bugbears. Oh, my. They will die by my... You open the door and look and out. Crossbow. Oh. Well, this is the other way out. Hot dang. Yes, you can see it is a path leading to outside. If you had approached from that end, you probably would have found that door. Possibly have been shot at from the goblins in the kitchen if they were too busy eating. Oh. So, Southern Tower, then, with a Owlbear? Let's go kill this owlbear, if necessary. Yeah, let's, I mean, I don't know, we gotta do something with it. As you walk over there, you hear a deep growling noise coming from inside that. Oh, actually, I look at the chest. Yes. I go, oh. Okay, guys. This might fuck up terribly. But I'm gonna try to feed the owlbear. To what? 
I'm going to try and pacify the owlbear not eating our face. How does you looking at the chest do that? It's a chest full of raw meat. Oh, it is. Oh. It is. But this is uh, okay. <laughs> As he carefully readies his head and crossbow, Lazarus is gonna sheath his sword and get a big hunk of bloody raw meat. There's a bunch of them in that chest, so you grab one of them. And he's gonna push open the door and throw it in as a distraction, first off. Okay, you push open the door and throw it in. I'm gonna reveal... That is a very, very big owlbear. Yes, and as it throws, as you throw it, uh, the owlbear lunges forward and grabs it out of the air and starts eating it. Huh. So what are we gonna do about this? I going to get another piece of meat. Feed it again. Yeah, but th- that seems fine. Yeah, I mean it worked with the wolves. Yeah, but what's so we just stand here and keep feeding it, or what's the plan? Mm, is- I can try and lead it out out of here. That's probably a pretty good idea, honestly. Bear traps. Oh, we can lead it through the other door we just found. Yeah, I'm going to. Edge closer and offer food and try and. If he attacks him, I'm shooting him. As try and be calm. The room, it growls at you rather loudly. I'm going to try and look as non menacing as possible and offer it to him. I need it to make a. It, it actually reaches animal. out and grabs it out of your hand. Do you want me to make like a handle animal check or. No, no. I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> it, it, that's like the lamest, like, wow. Not, I mean, found committal DM check ever. I make one if you want to make one. <laughs> that, that is it. It's It still looks kind of mad. Because it's an owl. Out of character, you can actually use them as mounts. That would be terrifying if I had an owlbear as a mount, because I can swift mount. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now I'm you're just... thinking about it from out of character knowledge. You're like, how can I get this to work? It quickly That's... devours the meat that you gave. I bring it more. I'm just trying to pass by it enough so I can, like, maybe try and lead it out of here and get it out of the place. We can knock it unconscious. He walks up. He uses his mouth to take it from your hand. Oh. I'll try and gently pet its head. (laughs) As you put your hand near it, it gives you a look that says, don't do that. (laughs) I follow these cues, just, I look back at, at, uh, Zing, and I just go, make a trail of corpses out to that door. Okay. You say that? Or you said you Yeah, I'm okay. telling Zing to. I'll help. Blackjack will help. Trail of corpses, using the goblins from the dining hall. And the meats. And we're just making a trail of corpses for it to follow and leave. Actually, leave a pile of corpses out there. Like, don't even make the corpses. You know, Blackjack will say, we'll just make a trail of little meat bits and then have a big pile outside of the place. Yeah, just do that. Just do that. So that's our plan. We, we take the ones, the, the bodies, and leave a big pile of dead goblin bodies outside here. And then all the rest is just meat bits here and there. I try to use small bits so that they don't really fill them, but they are like, ooh, it's Goblin candy. heads. Ooh, goblin heads. Candy. And no, once everyone gets here. out of the way, I just gesture to, like, the meat bits. Let it 
go. Let it go after it. I'm going to be very cautious, and if it's going to attack me or my friends, I'm going to... Yeah, Zing's probably back inside. Bum, bum, bum. He can be where he wants to. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. ba da ba da 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 Growling at you. <laughs> meat bits, meat bits, little little meat bits. It looks at the bodies and realizes it's a side. It realizes what? It realizes it's outside. It realizes it's out of that stupid castle, and it runs. See it run into the woods until you can't see it anymore. You just see Lazarus just go, Whoo! Zing walks back in and says, Operation Release Outbear, uh, Owlbear has been a complete success. Woo! Okay. Let's Is figure out what place? the... place? Yeah, let's figure out what the hell was in here, though. Oh, there may be... There's something in there? There might be. They just left the owl bear in there, but okay. Would, All right. Okay. Why would you have an owl bear in a room if it wasn't guarding something? Well, um, maybe you're a weapon. Okay. That's so, what I was thinking. You're entering the room without your for fearing for your life, and you glance around. The yeah. upper floors of this tower have collapsed to create a, a hollow silo about thirty or so feet high. The upper reaches of the room are lost in shadows. Dust, rubble, and broken glass cover the floor. Old work tables and bookshelves strewn about in the south end of the room. I look for books. You see where they're there. See where they're strewn. They're uh, they're they're over here. Oh, I thought you said south end of the room. Sorry. I did, and then I looked at the map. Oh, okay. I <laughs> looked through books. I figured like the bookshelves were like down, and books were everywhere. Okay. I look through the books for books. And Any books that are in decent condition. To the south of the room, there is uh, what looks like it was where probably the Albert so was. Is this, is this south or is this east? That is east. Okay. Uh, I just said the wrong direction because... The no, that's fine. Yeah, I just want to be sure that I hadn't got anything really wrong. Okay, cool. You did not get anything wrong. I'm just going to search you. around. Oh, give me a perception check. Uh, you notice that up above you, there is a small jagged ledge, and there's something sitting on it, but you can't tell what it is because it's rather dim. Um, I'll be right back. And Lazarus is going to run, run through the place and grab the heavy crossbow and then come back. That was actually what I was thinking that I would do if you mentioned that to me. But books, because I got right. the hand crossbow you, and I could fire you, at it. Indeed, come back with the heavy crossbow. Do I find any books in the meantime while he's going for the heavy uh, crossbow? All the books and anything there that was whole at one time, if it wasn't rotten, it was destroyed by the owlbear. Okay, so I don't find any books. Not whole books. Find some bits and pieces. That about it. Lazarus returns. And he's setting up the grappling hook. You Whoa. take out a grappling hook and tie it to the end of your rope. I presume that's what you mean by setting up the grappling hook. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, give me a dexterity check to aim correctly. You throw it up over the ledge, and you hear it stick on something. Something wooden. I give it a few tugs to make sure that it's, like, sturdy. You tug, and something comes with the grappling hook. Oh, God. I see this. I try to catch it. So uh, it doesn't it's... hit him. Oh, okay. Uh, dexterity check to avoid the grappling hook. Because it's kind of attached. Oh. Um, okay, here we go. Is this like a giant chest falling on me? 
Well, it's not giant, but it is a chest. Oh. Blackjack catches it, avoiding the pointy bits. <laughs> Blackjack says, good thinking. We didn't break it. <laughs> that was the only reason he did that, is he saw that go ahead and fall, and I'm like, oh, crap, he's going to break something in there. And I give it a nice cushion as it as it lands. What is it a chest? What is it? What what did it, I catch? It is a battered wooden chest, and now there's a, a well a small hole in it for the grappling hook. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I yank out the grappling hook, and I hand it to uh um shoot man Lazarus. Hand it, it, Lazarus. Only weighs, it only weighs like four or five pounds. It's not really that big. Yeah, but I made the the noise of the. Like, no, I'm just I'm just out. telling you, it's not very big. Okay. And I hand it to Lazarus and then I I am gonna actually just open it up like like I'm standing like kind of beside them like this and I'm opening up so like it's not, I'm not the only one who's seeing what's in there. Like I'm kind of like opening up to the side so I can show them what's in it. Because I don't know what's in it either. As you move your hands to open the chest, you hear a little click click. Click click. As you pull it open, try to pull it open. Oh, Zing back so it doesn't open. Does that have a no, hole in there? It does not. It does not open. Uh, you looking closely, you can see there's a small slot for a key. key it's hole? obvious it is locked. And I'm like, ah, oh, dang. And he says, "Just a minute, I can do this." I go to the table. I'm presuming it's a table, and I uh, set... yes, that is remnants of a table. I set the box down with the lock up, and then I take out my. My kit that seems to have a bunch of doodads of various sizes and shapes, and I utilize them on the box. You utilize them, and you hear a little click. I then turn back. To, I put my stuff back in my little pack. I put, slide that back into my inner pocket of my uh, uh, deerskin trench coat. And then I turn back towards them and lean over to them and see, let's see if I did it. And I attempt to open it. It opens. It creaks a little bit, but it opens. It opens. To reveal? It reveals. You see uh, a glint of coins, some copper and some gold. And also a small red bottle and two... Uh, well, at this point, pretty obviously, two scrolls. Ooh, I say. Um, is it obvious that this red bottle is a healing potion? Uh, yes, it looks very similar to what you have seen. So, gentlemen, this is what you got with your grappling hook. And I grab the uh, two scrolls in my right hand. Well, I'm on the right-hand side, so... I'm showing them with my left hand. So, yeah, I grab the two scrolls in my left hand, and I say, here, Albrecht, can you hold this? And I hand him the chest with all the rest of the stuff, except for the scrolls. I hold the chest. I examine the scrolls quickly. You examine the scrolls. Just a second. There we go. Okay, you can see that it is... A scroll of silence and a scroll of revify. Of revify? It's revify. Out of character, what does that do? Uh, it's like the weakest bring someone back to life spell. Oh, I didn't know there was one. I thought raise dead was one. Raise dead is one, but that's not the weakest one. Not the weakest one. Okay, so specifically, uh, revify uh, is uh. If you you have you touch a creature that has died within the last minute, the creature oh, wow. will return to life with one hit point. You can't return wow. to life someone that's died of old age, nor can it restore any missing body parts. Oh my god! I said it is the weakest. Bring someone back to life spell. <laughs> that is like the the like I'm bringing you back to to the brink of death. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Wow. Revify and silence. I tell them what these scrolls are. Um, and I'll ask them, do you mind if I put these in my my scroll holder? Sure. Go ahead. 
All right, I put them away in my scroll tube with my other scrolls. I'll just take the box and head out to the car cart. Oh, do, should we need to get those uh those weapons? That vast armory of weapons. You don't care uh, how many was in the chest. Well, I'll Me I'll be counting. Yeah, not really. We we cleared. The I'm going to be we're counting having... during the short rest that we're going to be taking on the cart. Yeah, and I okay, assume he'll enough. be. I assume he'll divvy it out. So, and maybe I'm wrong about the assumption, but he's done it so far, and I've done it also. So, and out of character, that's not me like saying you should totally divvy it out. That's just me saying that's my character's assumption. I divvy it out. However, I divvy it out. Cool. Um, I didn't see any books. I'd like to make one last sweep of anything that is, but to, just to see if there's anything that particularly stands out so like it's not hay or it's not a table it's not part of a table and it's intact can i do that is that a thing no you can do that it's a thing um i think i get this oh wow one last scan unfortunately as you scan around the room you don't see anything that sticks out especially okie doke cool so, should we load up the cart with all those weapons? Uh, yeah, there should be enough room for all of us. Um, on your way out, while you're taking the chest back to the cart and counting that cash, um, don't forget about your bear traps. Yeah, I know. Alright, so, while he goes that one way and fixes the bear traps, I'm gonna go to the armory and start getting weapons to carry. Yeah, I'll go with... Uh, as necessary, I will use the lantern. Yeah, I'll go with um, Blackjack as he's doing that. Oh, yeah, I, I turned you down. So I'm just going to assume that we do that. Uh, next time you don't have to turn me down. I can adjust myself on cell phone side, and hopefully there won't be a next time. I disable the traps and get back out to the cart. And oh, is he safe? He's still in the cart, and he's All not right. dead. And he's not dead. Okay, good. And he's not dead. No, when you get there, there is a, an additional person in the cart with him. There is? Who's that? Uh, the kid. The kid? Oh. oh. Zing will uh, climb into the cart and go, oh, Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? Did Didn't... he not tell you? He points to Zang. Zang said that he had a meeting with him, yeah. I told him that they probably forgot. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, last I time didn't... I tried to contact you, uh, something was interfering. I didn't get a response back. Uh, wait, when was this? Zing tries to remember. God, it was a bit ago. Let me see if I can remember. Um... Oh, it was it was right. Actually, it was just a few. I would have to say maybe an, an hour ago. We were. Uh, I, I wanted to give you an update on um, on our what we were doing out here. Oh, was there anyone else around that you're using magic? Uh, there was a drow lady who used the magic scroll to teleport away. I was also casting some magic. Well, that might have provided enough interference that it didn't work. It's not a terribly powerful magic. Oh, um, Lazarus rummages around through the back of his cart and pulls out the rusty axe. Oh, the axe. He holds yep. out his hand. He hands it over. He takes it. Says, ah. Just a second. And he runs over and uh, aims at a tree with it. Watches. He hits the tree once, and the tree has been chopped down. You have my attention, uh, X. He walks back to the cart and says, I like axes that do things like that. I kind of like axes that do things like that, too. Oh? Do you want the axe? Kind of. Oh, we... 
What will you give me for it? Put it to good use with carpentry. What do you give me for it? Hmm. I'll have to think. But I mean, I already have the magic swords. Kind of growing attached to it. Yeah, Talon. Kind of growing attached to him. Sir, not to, um, kind of throw off your business exchange, but, um, you had an update on the situation. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, the reason I, the whole reason I came. About that symbol. Zing leans in a little bit. Uh, I can't tell you very much. Uh, mainly because I, I'm not supposed to. Zing's eyebrows but, shoot up a little bit. I can't tell you yet. Right now what I can tell you is that the symbol is for a cult. And the cult is named the Cult of the Nine Demons. Have I heard of this before? Give me some kind of check of you hearing things. Oh... Um... As he's making the check, basically, basically, I say, you know more stuff, but you won't tell them. Well, you see, I I can't. I'm I'm not supposed to tell people about certain things. I'd also what? like to make a knowledge check to see if I know anything about it. Yeah, I think we all see? will. Okay, but why not? Okay, okay. The reason I can't tell you is because you're not part of the organization I am part of. What organization is that? Can't really tell you that either. You have to be invited. <laughs> I'm like, check those laugh. And he makes his knowledge check. On what symbol thing. are you guys talking about? He'll actually say something to the kid, but he will not say it in common. What does he say it in? Um, or... He will be saying it in Draconic. Can anyone speak okay, Draconic? Then... Nope. Not me. Nope. And even if I could, that doesn't mean that I would say or acknowledge that I heard it. Because fact check is smart like that. Let's see here. After Zhang says something in a language you don't understand, the kid responds in, the, in what sounds like the same language. Ah, oh, dang. Blackjack's a dummy. Really wish I could. Really can't spell. Every word longer than five letters, I'm happy. After he says that, says something to Zhang, he turns to the group. I can't get you an invitation to where I am right now. But you can join my adventuring guild. And that would help. I'd certainly I'd be up for that. Um, I, I still have questions about what symbol you're, you guys are talking about. Zang, show him the symbol. Zing is already shuffling through his stuff, and he'll pull out um, what looks like a, sim a symbol, and he holds it out, and it appears to be on, like, a soggy, shitty sheet of paper, um, and he'll, like, hold, uh, if, if you look at it and you blink, basically, it goes from being a sun to a moon and back. That is not what the symbol is. I thought that was what it was. What it was. That is not at all what the symbol is, man. What is it? It's between a face that is laughing and crying. What the fuck am I thinking of? I All have right. no idea what you're thinking about. Sorry, I played a game of like <laughs> I played a game of uh, telephone with my own brain apparently, and slowly my depiction of what this actually was changed over time. Anyway, you've been playing Pokemon too much. 
Yes, you know what? That's exactly the reason. Thank you. Okay, so that's what happens. It's it's uh, it's happy face, sad face. If you blink, it changes. Lazarus just stares at it, then looks at Blackjack and just has this. Eh? You recognize the symbol, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Lazarus is just going. Ah. Uh, Zing then explains, I found this symbol in the bottom of a treasure chest on the way here. It was, it was with um, a, uh, a treasure that um, we uh, kind of got the coordinates to and we investigated it a bit and uh, this was just part of, the, part of the stuff along with the card and Zing will actually pull out the card as well. Well... Lazarus is pulling out a little amulet, a little pendant, and it has that exact same symbol on it. Zing makes a what the fuck face. He just looks at the kid. Where did you get that amulet from? Uh, my de my dead uncle. Zing good. stares at the kid. Good says, can I see that? And he holds out his hand. Lazarus is gonna like let it in his hand, but like keep like a grip on the chain. He looks at it for about thirty seconds or so. Then he lets it go. Lets it go. Says, "Okay, it's not activated." Okay. Thing repeats explain. activated. Well, if it was activated, we'd probably all be dead by now. <laughs> Blackjack is surprised at this. This is like the first thing that's any anybody has said so far that Blackjack is somewhat interested in. Now, you say you found that with the person who gave it to you said was dead, right? Yeah. Then it's probably already been used, so we're safe. Well, he died of illness. Then we might not be safe. Just, just keep it in whatever it was given to you in. Pretend it doesn't exist. Okay, what about that piece of paper over there? That is just a drawing. It's a really good drawing, but it's just a drawing. That's good. All right. Well. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm just putting the pendant back away now. Is the, is the adventure, Adventuring Guild you're part of, um, and Zang holds up the Harper's card? We are loosely affiliated with them, yes. Mm. Wait, what? Why do you have a card? Because you said we got one. I had Not one. Character. Or somebody, yeah. It was... You got it from somewhere. I got it from the treasure chest, same place. Oh, okay, the, yeah. The kid was asking you why you had a card. He says, I got it from the treasure plus, the treasure chest, same place. Oh. I'm, I'm just going to assume that we're, like, on the road already. Yeah, yeah, we're... If you guys wanted to have set off, that is entirely fine. Thanks, yeah. Dwarf. Thanks, Gungeon. Oh, and we're going back to Fendalen, for the record. We got all this shit we got. To... And I would try to convince everybody that these weapons, along with the, uh... I would... Well, I'll let the conversation with the dragon dude go because we got another ten miles before we're even at the T in the road. Screw it, whatever. Sorry for the interruption. Go. Okay, so basically, if you guys join my join my adventuring guild, then there's a much better chance that I can get you an invitation into the organization I'm in. That sounds great to me. I'm kind of lost. Uh, what's the reason? Why do we want to be in this guild? Because then I can give you more information. About? That symbol. Well, Zing, uh, speaking for himself, uh, uh, I'm sorry, hang on. Zing says, speaking for myself, I just want to be part of the guild because we've been working together for a while, and I'll be honest, I just like you. So, that's that's all the reason I need for joining. 
Are you telling that to the dragon? Or yeah, to the kid. I keep I keep wanting to say dragon, kid, but not because kid, I think kid. human child. Somebody else has kept saying dragon, and I believe that it's a child, a really big child. Who just chopped down a tree. With a magic Elsie. axe, by the way. A magic Did axe. Did anybody pick up that magic axe? The kid has the magic axe. Okay. So uh... I will give you, I say, I just realized. I tell him just a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna the least I can do is give it a try, you guys. Um like I didn't realize until just now. Maybe I do have stuff that he wants or maybe find valuable. I said I will give you a gold earring with a ruby, a fancy eye patch, three gold teeth, one carnelian, two pear dots, and a silk pouch to put it all in. Uh, for what purpose or would you give me these things? They are very nice. For the axe. Ah, in trade for the axe. Yes. Those are all of the valuables that I own. Except the pearl. We can't have my pearl. But I use that. Mm, I'm afraid those all together do not match the value of the axe. All right. I didn't want to have to do this. But look at this. And I pull out the happy flipper. What? What is that? <laughs> it is a the magic spatula. It is a magic spatula. Where did you get a magic spatula? From inside Kragma Keep. So you're saying the goblins had a magic spatula? They did. They probably didn't know what it was. And what it's does one of what a kind? Does this, what does this magic spatula do? Anything that you cook with it tastes amazing. It's one of a kind, Blackjack says. It probably is one of a kind. <laughs> You'll never find another. Okay, if you give me that and you give me that eye patch, it's a deal. The eye patch <laughs> and the happy flipper? Yep. What eye patch? <laughs> The eye patch you took off the guy that was wearing it because it looked cool. I have a fancy eye patch. Oh, okay. <laughs> he took it off of a guy that wasn't missing an eye. He just Sounds... wore it because it looked cool. You say that, and now I think about this. I say, give me a moment. That before... eye patch is probably magical. <laughs> <laughs> before I do this. And I would like to use a minute to try to identify... This eye patch. You, <laughs> you didn't even realize that, did you? I did. A, I didn't have identify when I got that. I don't think. But B, when he did offer both of them, I thought it was, uh, that threw a flag. But anyway, just uh, you never know. It may not be magical, but no. Like I used the spell identify on the eye patch. <laughs> What's that eye patch? It's the eye patch of everyone who has dark vision now has dark vision. No, that is not what. <laughs> is it a magical eye patch? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, you just like typing it in. While he's identifying it, uh, Zing will hiss at the kid a little bit more. I should whisper this. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy eye patch. It's just... I don't know what the axe does besides cuts down streets instantly. And that's the only reason I want it. It may not be the axe that's doing that. That may be uh, the dude. He may just be that strong. Maybe I'm fires. that strong. His modifier is so great, he can chop down trees with rusted axes. Blackjack will believe anything about this kid at the moment. He doesn't really <laughs> like him. He doesn't like him that much, honestly. It kind of goes with the whole thing of, I'm kind of 40 years old, and... You're one freaky kid.
You're obviously not a kid, but whatever. Is this eye patch like an actual item in the game? Is that a thing? Oh, that's something I made. Okay. I have to look up that spell real quick. Huh. Um, I think it's a pretty here. fun spell. You can have real. There's really creative uses for it. Um, what? Think of it as the opposite of light. Well, no, duh. Is it really that's all it does? It just casts darkness. There's nothing fancy about it. Does it have a radius? All that jazz? I don't know. It does have a radius. Okay. You guys can keep going. Blackjack uh, pauses. He looks at, at the boy and he's... He does not make a comment about continuing this deal. That's what he does. So no on the eye patch. He continues... Blackjack continues to think. And we've got plenty of time along the road, so it's kind of like... Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Well, he probably found out it was magical and now he's debating which is better that magic eye patch or the axe so Zing shrugs slightly this actual chop thing's real good but it only works on wood <laughs> this is hilarious oh my gosh <laughs> it only works on wood yeah that's that's pretty important wait what only works on wood the axe oh, the axe oh my gosh this no, Blackjack's not selling this, and he puts the eye patch on. And uh, attenuation is like what, like an eight-hour, how, or a one-hour thing? What is that? Well, that actually depends, but it's usually a day or two, depending. Or two. I thought it actually said in the book. Uh, where? I'm looking it up. Don't worry, I'll find it. Well, I will give him. Okay, how about this? A healing potion and the spatula for it. Hmm. I really want that eye patch. No deal. As Blackjack, like, as he's putting it on, he, like, pulls it forward a little bit and lets it spring back into a snap right onto his eyeball. Oh, that just sounds painful. Snap. He doesn't like any other little items out there. that you would be willing to part with? Uh -huh. just, just the spatula alone, though it is a neat item, is not worth the value of the act. Shit, I'm starting to want the spatula. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I have the scroll. Uh, what kind of scroll is it? Scroll of Augury. What's Augury do? Let's you see the future! Kind of. Oh, you have one scroll of that? No, don't give that to him, I say. He has no need to. He has all the magic stuff. It's... Scroll. That. Scroll and a spatula for it. I think I think you want to keep that scroll of augury. That could come in handy. Out of character, you were bitching about it being terrible because I wasn't bitching about it being terrible. I just said it's not as good as the other divination ones. 
Well, it's you, also only strong. a level two spell. It's not going to be super great. Yeah, but it's going to be. <laughs> it could be useful. You ask yes or no questions, and the DM has to answer. I can answer with wheel. Well, it's just telling. Like it's just telling if things are good ideas or not. Basically, that's what it's yeah. doing. Yeah. You get an omen whether something's good or not. That's about it. You never know whenever you need to chop down a door. As long as don't, you don't roll use me a it. Persuasion check on that. Well, I'll accept that. All right. Spatula and that scroll of augury. Blackjack slaps his head gently, not like slams it, but just like kind of like, uh. Spatula's name is the Happy Flipper. That is a horrible name. It is its name. Still a horrible name. How do you Pepper? know its name if it's a one of a one of a kind object? Because... <laughs> I think you just named it the Happy Flipper. <laughs> Zing stares at uh, Lazarus intently. I name my stuff. Okay. He holds out his hand. Fair enough. <laughs> He hands over the happy flipper and the scroll. And the kid puts them away. I and say in hands... that case, I name this the un eye patch. That's a very odd name. And he hands the axe to Lazarus. Now you have an axe that can cut through wood really well. I do. Man, if we have to find any trees, they're just not going to be happy. They aren't. It is a short rest to attune an item, I think. But it can't be the same short rest used to learn an item's properties. But I used identify for item properties. Huh, that's surprising. Pew isn't in the back. All right, sweet. I now have an eye patch. He never answered my question, by the way. Who? Oh, wait, Me? What was it? What was his question? Check your whisper. Oh. Oh, that's probably. Um Yeah, as we're going back to town, um thinking of anything else next to do, it seems like we're kind of dying down. Um I'm going to mention that uh so about what we do with the keep and this small armory, I point to the floor of the wagon displaying the various uh weapons and or armors that we have collected from that one room of stuff. Um, I have a quick question. Out of character. How many hours would it take to get to Van, Van Dalen from the Keep? By wagon. It's like 20 miles, I think, at least. It's like 5 miles in the forest and then 20 more miles or something. I don't think that answers your question. I'm sorry. I I really don't know scale in 5e yet. Hello? Check. I shall check. Okay. Cool. Because they're probably whispering, but I mean, yeah, you can answer your own question. Just I'm just waiting I'll, for Chris. I'll so. assume 30 miles, just 30 normal miles over like regular terrain. Let's see here. What? 
I don't know how fast mules go. 40. 40 what? Feet. No, like over land. Yeah, it's I probably, think that's... It's probably yeah, all in the dungeon they're, master they're, guide. It's like your speed is 30, their speed is 40. Is that hauling wagons? Their speed is, yes. They, they As long as they are not overladen, their speed is 40. And oh, okay. hauling that wagon, they are not overladen. Wow, we are flying then. I, I figure we go like a four mile an hour pace, maybe, at the most. So, if it's 25 miles, I think we can move like half of that, half of their speed, so. In when, like a day, or? In like a day, I think. I think. So, you guys talking about travel speed? Yeah, I mean, I'm just... Let's say four miles per hour, and then they can... If they can travel four miles per hour, then I mean, you know, at a comfortable pace, that's times eight. Eight hours is thirty-two miles. Okay, at a speed fan... of at a speed of forty, you can go thirty miles a day. Yeah, I was gonna say we can get to Fendalen. That's no problem. Okay, well, I was just needing to check time so I can see how many short rests I can. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? A bunch of short rests? I have to heal. Just assume you get eight, I guess. Oh, you're going to use your second wind eight times? Possibly. That's, that's what you should do instead of um, using hit dice. <laughs> you can totally do it, too. I thought your second wind used stuff. No, my second wind doesn't. My yeah. healers get done. Wow, that's awesome. Which I am going oh, to use yeah, a It's just 1d10 plus your fighter level. I thought it used something. Which no, I am doesn't. going to use a healer's kit on uh, the dwarf, though. Which dwarf? You. <laughs> Which dwarf? You okay, get you. Uh, more hit points. Yay. Oh, awesome. And I'll just do this like... Two times. Yeah, I'm I'm at two hours. <laughs> well, I was just just taking a quick power nap. <laughs> One or two. He he goes to sleep and then like he wakes up really groggy out. looking looking around and he's just like uh rolls back over. Yeah, pretty much. It's like he sleeps in the back of his wagon a lot. It's as though he does this all the time. Um, okay, so I guess while he is sleeping, I ask those questions <laughs> to uh, Albrecht um, and uh, Zhang. Zing seems to snap out of uh, out of out of the stupor of some sort. Um, sorry, can you repeat the question? So we have this armory. He points to the weapons and armors or whatever else we got from that one room, and, and he says, "And we got to keep back there, clear of stuff. Um, we could, I don't know, like donate it to Van Dalen so that they have a." a stronghold they can go to when uh, they are under siege or something. I mean, they have to do some work on it, but essentially it's more than a half-constructed keep. You know, it's almost like somebody's like, here's half a keep that we are almost done building all the way, and they just have to finish it up. Um, We're doing a lot for this town. I mean, it's just it's just here, that's all. Hmm. We're doing a lot for this town. Um. Yeah, I mean, I I think that's a good idea. That that that's probably a really good idea. But Zing thinks for a second. We got plenty of time. Zing will at this point have his return on investment conversation with you, Mike. What? 
Well, what are, you, what are you saying, Albrecht? I was gonna say that if they want it, I'm all for giving it to them. It's not like I had any plans for it anyway. Okay, and saying. Sorry. Oh, uh, at this point, we would basically have a return on investment conversation. So I'll rehab it just so everyone else is privy to it. So basically, what I'm thinking is we. We have all of the shit we're doing for Fandalen, and it, it's good with all we're doing for them, like reinforcing their town, giving them a keep, getting rid of their bandit problem, but we are doing a ton of stuff for this town, and as far as I got from the mayor, they have no way of really paying us back for any of this. Um, at what point do we... See, I, I'm all for altruism, but I feel like there, there's, there, there's some kind of imbalance here. Like, I feel like if we're going to be doing all this stuff for the town, we should have some more leeway there. Or at least they should be offering us something. If they can't offer us money, then something else. Um... So just keep in mind, as as we're bumbling along, just keep in mind that we went to Cragmaw to finish our services to uh, um, Gungeon here, and I just figured we'd clear it out to help the town. Now, that's, say, four battles. It's four or five battles or whatever. It's not much. Um, and I'm not arguing one way or the other. I'm just saying keep that in mind whenever we're thinking about it. Um, but as far as my opinion goes on it, I don't I mean. I'm not. I'm not saying like we we shouldn't it. do anything. I'm not. Uh, well, it, it, it to them. I, I'm definitely not saying we should we should sell it to them either because I'm pretty sure they couldn't afford it. What I'm saying is, if we're gonna keep just giving and giving and giving and giving them stuff, we should make sure that it's actually being. I guess. What I'm asking for is, or not really asking for, but what I'm, what, what idea I'm posing is maybe we should try to have some, I don't know, um, see if we can rally for some kind of, uh, like, have, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm suggesting here. Lazarus kind of rolls over and just, like, says, well, if we join that guild, we could try and get it to become a guild house. Thing makes a face and thinks about it. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think actually that would be a better idea than, um, and having a guild house nearby would actually protect the town more. I'm not sure they have the resources to it's adequately man the, the fort. Twenty-five miles away. Twenty-five, thirty miles away. Yeah, I could see it being used as a retreat or a. Uh, some sort of fortress of, like, uh, warning system with the forest, but it's it's pretty far away from the town to be a, uh, I don't know. What uh, is your What is your opinion on it, uh, kid? Well, on making the Cragmaw Castle a guild place? Yeah. Well, it's kind of falling apart. It'd take a whole lot of work to make that place serviceable. Um, do you know if anyone in your network would have a use for it, where they would like it? Well, I know some people who might like it, but I don't know if they'd be good for the area. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, you have better connections than we do. I could see if I could uh, convince some people to move in there who wouldn't be detrimental. Well, I still kind of put my bet on a guild house because, I mean, it would be a pretty decent central-ish location for it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you guys could use it as your own little home base if that's what you wanted. I think uh, I'd rather have something closer to town for a home base, to be honest. And anytime anybody is in Waterdeep, so you guys have been making some pretty um fellows, and uh, I was 
interested actually in a side proposition, but first let's try to figure settle the business of uh, this bit out. Of what we're gonna do with this place? So I really have no idea. But it's it's like we own this place now. We can do something with it. And suddenly the party's like, "Wow, we came into this to be adventurers, and now we're real estate agents." <laughs> Seriously, though, that's the problem we're having right now. Well, it's not well, even well, that. It's like we've, we've inherited this almost complete built castle, and we don't really know what to do with it. Well, all we have to do is wait for the cleric to reach the level that he can cast Stonewall, and then Auto build. and then just like, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can get hirelings to build the rest of it. Oh, yeah, but you can I pay don't people know. to help rebuild this place. But, but, I don't think but that's not free. People. Well, no, that's not free. I don't think that spell is free either. It, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, um, but we don't have like the full resources to renovate it, and I think a town would. Um, but I don't, I don't know what to do with it. The only thing that would make me want to to actually like make this a base of operation is if we could get a portal network established, because this is a pretty secluded place, and having portals set up in a few rooms <clears throat> so we can transit between towns and have like a central hub location that's out in the middle of nowhere would be pretty cool. You know how difficult it is to stabilize port? Just thinking long term. It's, it's yeah, a ninth level you're spell. also a half work monk. I don't know. <laughs> portals are fickle things. So don't just go thinking, oh, portals. Yeah, well, that's, that's I'm just a half work monk, so what do I know about portals? I just know that they're things that make people go from one place to another. Sue me. And if they screw up, they can make part of you go someplace and part of you go to another. Just an idea, Jesus. Out of character, I, yeah, I, that's an idea. I don't I mean, Blackjack, that's not even on Blackjack's radar. I'm not saying portals are out of the question. I'm just saying, I think they might be a bit much for you right now. I'm just saying, the only thing that would make me consider this place is if we had a way to make it more easy to get to and more accessible. Otherwise, I would prefer a place that was actually in town as a guild hall. There is that old mansion. There is that old mansion. That's another place. There is that old mansion. That's a completely... <laughs> yeah, wow. I just realized we'd clean that place out too, didn't we? That was yeah, a lot of like, work too. It is burnt. Yeah, that's pretty much useless. That one's more, a lot more useless than this is. This is all stone. But it'd be a heck of a lot easier to rebuild. I'll tell you I what, in any of the one. in any of the other adventures I played, I've never considered the possibility looking backwards of all of the places I've cleared out and thought of re selling them as real estate. Just sell to your local necromancer. Like that's you because by. I'm playing this campaign now. Yeah, that's actually pretty <laughs> much accurate. Um, yeah, so I'll give you that, Mike. You, you mentioned the man, the mansion, and uh, Blackjack thinks for a minute, and then he kind of shakes his head. Um, hmm. I mean, I could possibly help rebuild the mansion. Mostly would, but still. That'd take a long... I've got mending. <laughs> One piece at a time. That would take forever. <laughs> oh. Instead of nails, you just mend it together. Okay, so... So... So let me lay one viable, like, option that we have. Because I don't... I think we're thinking very broad. I don't think we have... I think we're brainstorming, and that's good. But I don't think we have um, a, a clear set of options. So I, I will throw down one option here. One option, and I don't really care if, uh, to talk about the mansion. We can figure that out later or we don't do anything. But as far as this place goes, the one option, and I'm not even going to say that I like it the most. I don't. I wish there was a better option. One option is we give the, the we just give the weapons and we give the castle to town and we say, here you go, make it anew, and now you have a place to retreat to if you're under attack or under siege 
or you have, uh, I don't know, a place to store a small army um, within 20 miles um, that can come to your aid or, you know, something like that. Um, because they may have the resources and the time required to rebuild um, and renovate. Um, that's one option. And, and if we give it, then we give it. Or if we try to sell it to them, then maybe they'll sell it to us because it's real estate. Or maybe they'll buy it from us because it's real estate. Um, maybe the town master has the taxes and the funds. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. But that's one option. So I laid one option down on the table. What's another option? A plan. I'm fine with just that one. Well, I love... Blackjack looks disappointed. <laughs> I don't particularly care for this option personally, but I'm, I'm looking for some discrete, concrete options. Good men, good sirs. Well... I'm just I, fine with that. My the way I want to take this personally with with me, I kind of want to see what um you and he gestures to the the ferryman. You can find um to anyone that would be willing to inherit this because I I mean we just don't have the contacts for someone that would be interested in this remote location. But I imagine. And he just kind of like, he he kind of squints one of his eyes at him that certain people that, you know, I, I think that you might know more people that would be interested in this place than we would and would be able to make better use out of it. Well, I only have, <sighs> sorry, there's only one guy I know right now that I think would be interested in this place. But I don't know if you guys would want to move in here. Personally, I, I would not want Let's to. Let's trust him. I, Let's I, trust the boy. I, I would not... I would, I would not want to move in this place. Personally, me, I would rather... You do something with it, to be honest. No, he just, he just said the only person that would move in there is somebody that we don't want moving in there, so... Did he say yeah, that? Yeah, he, that's what he somebody, just said. I the think only was, person that I know of who would want to move in there, I don't think is someone that you would want to move yeah, in there. Yeah, you okay. just misinterpreted what he said, that's all. Okay. I I could tell it just by how you're saying that. Okay, then then, yeah, then yeah, never mind. Would like to. So, I mean, uh, then I think... Hmm, I, I want another option. I don't like only having... Very, do, do we want to try to... Say, the town? I mean, what do we want to do? How do we approach that? We say, we found this castle, and for nine ninety nine, we... I mean, I don't know. Have you guys got any rewards for anything? We've gotten nothing from the town, dude, man. Yeah, they're, they're broke as shit. sucks, and he is a no-nothing. A no he is such a no-nothing. Well, I mean, he was elected for the job. Know. I don't useless. think selling will be an option if they're poor and their leader is less He's a than, tool. He's a freaking tool. Less than optimal. Well, less than now, optimal. there is another option. Well, that's why I'm asking. When you I was making suggestions, by the way, um, sorry yeah, to interrupt. I... When I was making suggestions of, of, of ways to get something out of this town for all we're giving to it, um, I was kind of trying to insinuate a role in government, considering the government they have now is kind of shit. Like, honestly, I think we could turn Fandalen around at the rate we're going. We're going to turn it into a very nice place to live. We've gotten rid of two of their major problems. When you take a town and you get rid of all of its problems and it's allowed to prosper, it becomes a better town. If we were the people that did that, they're either going to be making statues of us or... You get you, do you get my flow of logic on this? I would I mean, I'm just saying, we're doing yeah. all this shit for this town. I after a while would be like, okay, look, town, you've got some internal issues as well, like this fat lazy sack of shit that's allowed to run the town in the first place. He Let's have another elected. election or something. 
Well, actually, no, he drew the short straw. Well, then maybe he'd what? just want to give up the position. So Yeah, they, like, basically drew straws for who was the town leader. He drew oh. the short straw. Um, well, in any case, I'm not really looking to run a town, Blackjack not, says. Not, neither am I. Just so you know, I'm not really... I do have a suggestion that takes care of that, though. What's that? Well, weren't the uh, Lord's Waterdeep looking to put someone in charge of the town to oversee all that stuff, and then it went south? I don't remember. Do I remember? You remember. I remember. And that's the this? Lord's Alliance was looking to instill order into the area by inserting their own little bit of government in. But of course, the guy they sent turned evil and started trying to rule the town. Oh, yeah. So, if it's just this area, would try and sell it to the Lord's Alliance. Well, they already, I mean, tried to... Uh... Blackjack says, no, it's trying to sell the town to an entity Not the that town. Actually... They'll keep you fool. Oh, you just said sell it, and I'm like, what? Okay. They're trying um, to control the area, so sell the keep. That is very central. The Lord's it... Alliance? Yeah. I wonder how much they'd give us. It's, I mean, it's more than half a keep. I think they'd give you guys a fair penny for that. <laughs> They're pretty freaking expensive. I don't know if they could afford it. Blackjack says humorously. Penny. Humorously. Uh, be like well, penny. that's one option, and then well, the, that's, the, that's the town an would then have an, the town would then probably have a militia. That is an additional option. You guys could kind of help create a militia for the town, maybe. I mean, oh, we're in I'm... the process of doing that right now. Zing looks down at the floor. Gundren, what do you do? What, what Af do you mean I do? Hey, Gundren, After... want to run a town? That's no. <laughs> basically what Blackjack is asking. No, no, no. I want to. I want that mine. First of all, first I want to find my brothers. We're then, on our way, yeah. And we're going to the mine to try to further that. Yeah. If my brothers are there and the mine is functional, I want to run that mine. I don't want to run a town. Oh. Well, would any of your brothers, brothers, brothers would run the mine nearby. Uh, thirty they miles would, away or so. Yeah, they would buy ore. Then again, so would the town. Hmm. Town's a whole lot closer than this. Heat. It is. The town is closer to the road. Blackjack says. It's closer to the road, and it's closer to the cave. Well, so I'm we have two with... options now. We have two options, Blackjack says. We have two uh, discrete, concrete options. How would you approach what you want to do, Zang? Zane. Sorry, I I didn't realize you ended that that sentence with my name. Um, oh, I might have been muted. I don't know. Sometimes it does. No, I heard it. Oh, no. you could have just pretended you didn't. That that way it would save nope. any. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Repeat the question. Sorry. I can't remember the question. Basically, how would you? How would you go about selling the town to the Lords of Lion? I'm not the. Like, <laughs> you have me. <been> <laughs> How would you go about selling the keep, their castle, to the Lord's Alliance? No, 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 no. no. Or yeah. the other one, which let was me, the town. Let, yeah, well, just a minute. So I, I what, uh, I mean, how, so I don't know exactly what you want from the town or how you would go about doing it, but it sounds like you have some idea or loose vision for what you want to do. But what, what's your option? What is the set of actions that lead you to the consequences? Um, hmm. What's the closest town to uh, Van Dalen, by the way? Ooh, jeez. <laughs> Neverwinter's pretty close. I think maybe Thornhold is nearby. Uh, I whip out the map, because I have a map. I've got a crazy idea. What if, um, 
we get the town back in, wor in working order, and then we go to the ruling council of Neverwinter and let them know the town's cool, and then let them handle it. There's Lylan, um, yeah, it's really just Neverwinter. What'd you say? Sorry. Then basically Neverwinter would make Fandalin like an outcropping city where it's kind of like, um, the example I, I'm coming up with, this is an out of character example. Zing, Zing wouldn't say this in character because it would make no sense, but kind of like in, uh, <sighs> Everyone's played Skyrim, right? You know that starting town you go to, and then, like, how Whiterun sort of manages it? Kind of like a... Do you get what I'm, what I'm trying to say? It's kind of like a uh, one town so, manages the other. So you're suggesting that the Lord's Alliance, which runs Neverwinter... Does Lord's Alliance run Neverwinter? No. Neverwinter runs Neverwinter. I didn't think so, yeah. Yeah. Isn't the so Lord's Alliance Waterdeep? My character would point out no. Lord's, Lord's Alliance, Alliance is a whole bunch of places. It's it's a kingdom almost. It's a it's a collective of. It's an uh, alliance kingdoms. of lords, quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite serious. Jack, that is Black literally Jack would what point it is. that out. Black Jack would say it's an alliance of lords. Um, but yeah, the, uh, Neverwinter is is distinct. So. Yeah, it almost be a uh, an extension of Neverwinter, um, or it would be the Lord's Alliance would assign a lord like they tried to do, and they picked a bad person for it. So I'm just by that I'm convincing myself that signing it as a satellite city of Neverwinter may be a better solution. Wait, Gungeon, what do you think about Neverwinter? I like Neverwinter. I have you no like problems ne with that place. No problems with Neverwinter. So you'd have no problems making good deals. You know there? You have to repeat that. Oh. Uh you have do you have good contacts there for making sales for your Well I sell stuff there occasionally, but I have a proposition for you. What would that be? If you give us Man, I am so winging this shit. If you give us a cut of the profits of the mines, we will work to sell this place to Neverwinter. Thus, you will have a steady stream of buyers coming from Neverwinter to go to the uh, uh, out of character. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, somebody just they dropped off. Keep? No, no, no. Well, who dropped off? Oh, Jacob dropped here. off. No, no, no. Yeah. Anyway. Um, that's weird. I uh, mean, last thing came to rejoin. Yeah. Um, we, so he says, uh, the, uh, my, the miners exchange? Yeah. So you could sell your ore to the miner exchange, and there'd be a much greater demand, a greater throughput. That's a hell of an investment. Like, if, you, if, if you sold to Neverwinter, I gave you a, a percentage of the profit of the mine. You, oh, no, wait. It's if I give you a percentage, you will, you will sell the, the keep to Neverwinter. Yes, and we will try to get them to serve it, and we will advertise that um, the mine will be reopened. And then we try to get Neverwinter to actually buy the town. Well, not th buy the town. What Blackjack says? Buy Fandale and like, like replace the government in it, and and just like since since Fandalen's run by someone who's not interested in running it. If Fandalen suddenly becomes a profitable city, and we just let Neverwinter know, hey, this place was previously a shithole, but it's about to boom. And oh uh, yeah, we yeah. can explain about the Lord's Alliance, and yeah. Then Neverwinter might not only buy the keep, but they might buy Van Dalen too. That would really expand Neverwinter. It would expand Neverwinter's influence, yes. So, and, and there's is, pretty, there's pretty much is, no downside. Is to that. that what you want? What about uh, the last question that I have is what about this Leyland place? I traveled through it a little bit, and out of character, I never got a description, so I 
can't say much about it. Um, so okay, even in description. Yeah. So can you give me a description? Uh, don't know where. I have one question as well. Out of character. Yeah. Uh, is Amphail run by the Lords Alliance? Yes. It, well, it's actually it's it's not run by it. The town is its own town, but they're subsidiary to Waterdeep. So I'd be more inclined to like the. You are be more inclined uh, to further an alliance with the Lords Alliance. I mean, we already have ties in with the Lords Alliance, and we already have some ties in there. Yes, with uh, Sildra. Are you saying uh, that out loud? Yeah. And it'd be a lot easier to get Sildar. to get a deal that way. Yeah, but you've seen what they what kind of leadership they brought in the past. I'm 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 interested in getting new leadership. Uh, but, about about Leyland. Yeah. It is a small mining town. It's a little bit bigger than Fandalen because it's it's uh more traveled. Uh but it is a member of the Lord's Alliance. Okay. They, is they, Neverwinter a member of the Lord's Alliance? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, it's one of it's one of the uh, the uh, big hitters of the Lord's Alliance. That's I what mean, I it is like. It's sure. the second largest city on the Sword Coast. I sure hope it's one. So but, let's just go. I and, just want to. Leyland does appear to be very well run. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, they don't have problems with crime. Everything seems to be working very nicely. They don't get attacked by bandits all the time. I they think, have a militia. I think that was just like a one-off problem with a crazy wizard with a glass staff. And I mean, you've heard the stories about wizards. They, don't they live problems. in towers and they generally are crazy. That about describes them, yes. So just don't put a wizard in charge of Fandalen. A sorcerer would be worse. A sorcerer would be worse. But still. A warlock would probably be worse still. No, they're yeah. very controlling. Everything would be very ordered with a warlock around. Hey, do yeah. you mind if we hop off the cart here for a minute and uh, go have a quick chat? Who's uh, doing I'm asking, I'm asking, uh, Lazarus. Mm. Uh, sure. Alright, so we're gonna hop off the, the cart, and we're gonna kinda be... We can just, back. like, drag behind them some and just walk. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll walk, but Slow anyway. Slow the cart down a little bit so that you don't fall too far behind. Yeah, I, I wanna get out with that, or out of sight of earshot, and then I'll just say it out loud, because I'm Out lazy. of sight of earshot. No, I wanna get out of earshot. And I'm going to say it out loud because I'm lazy. Uh, well, we could just go to the private chat. I believe that was the no. idea. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we can talk about them and they don't know. This is really funny. I didn't miss much. Did I? Discord froze. My audio cut out. We're still talking about... Um, Lazarus and, uh, Lazarus and, um, the, uh, uh, and Blackjack got off the wagon and they're walking behind it out of, out of sight. Um. No, I caught that part. Uh, but were we still just talking about, uh, Van Dyne's leadership? Yeah, basically. And th so they're having a private conversation to themselves. Zing, as they actually start doing that, uh, will give the dragon kid a look and, um, Kind of look around at the rest Just of them. Just call him a kid. Just call him a kid. Well, okay. If you want me to do that, that's fine. Uh... Give the kid a look. And then look around at everyone else. Well, um, personally... And he'll look back at the kid. Is it okay if I just freely use your name? The one that I told you to call me. Okay, then that's fine. Okay, Seek. Um, I really... 
I'm kind of I kind of at a loss with this with this greater situation. I just kind of wanted to make the area better. I the whole reason I didn't want to just freely donate things to Vandalen is not that I'm looking to get something out of it personally. It's just if you have a, a hole, right? And you have a sack of money and you're putting money in the hole and it just it just vanishes into nowhere. You're doing something good by giving, but you never see what happens to that money. You're not sure if it's actually going anywhere good. And that's kind of how I feel like we are in reference to Fandalen right now. Is we're investing so much into this town, but it's run by these this guy and I I don't I don't feel like it, our investment is doing enough good potentially and it might be wasted. So I'm I'm wondering of a more long-term solution. If there was a competent leader in charge of Van Dalen, I would be probably thinking different, but I I don't know. I th I think something needs to be done about the leadership in the town it needs to get under uh, a better a better roof if that makes sense. You know, you could try to convince the town to join the Lord's Alliance, or at least to try to. Okay. Well, Rather maybe... than have the Lord's Alliance just come in and, you know, basically take over. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'll bring that up with the town leader next time I go. Considering he doesn't like his job, I mean... Yeah, I mean, if they can if they can find someone to replace him, then he'll probably jump at the, at the chance. I, I'll just go in one-on-one -on -one and be like, hey, you kind of seem like you don't want to be here. Why not join the Lord's Alliance and see if they can help your town out? I'm sure he'd understand that. Well, you might have to do a little bit of explaining, but he, you could get it through to him probably. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he knows what the Lord Alliance is. Lord's Alliance is. It's not exactly an uncommon thing around here. Most places that are worth very much at all know of the Lord's Alliance at least, and a fair number of them are members. The only reason I'd say Fandalen isn't a member is be because of that stupid wizard that you guys um, uh, captured. Oh, so now that we've taken care of the wizard... um, It's obvious they're interested in this town. Okay, that's a good idea. They sent, some they sent someone here to set up shop. Granted, he, though he did set up shop, it was the wrong kind of shop. It's obvious they want something to happen here. Now, who did they say? In my like? in my opinion, well, they, they the the Iarno Albrecht, the wizard. You guys, you guys hear, uh, you hear, uh, uh, Blackjack laugh quite heartily as they're walking back to the cart. Um, and. Black Okay. I'm just pop I'm popping up on the back and uh, offering to swap out with uh, Gundry so that he can sit back and I can drive the cart. Gundren says okay and moves to the back. I would like to make an insight check based on all of the knowledge that I have far, because maybe I'm just making a big deal out of it. Is there a difference? Um, and I don't mean like. Tell me what the difference is. But is there a distinct difference between giving it to the Lord's Alliance and Winter? And Neverwinter? Yes. There is a distinct difference between the two, yes. And logically, would this affect um, the deal with uh, the, uh, the Prospector in our cart? It is unknown whether it would affect that relationship. It is just unknown? I mean, you, don't, I have, you, you don't know whether it would I, So there is no indication one way or another. From what you know so far, you don't think it would impact it negatively, but you don't know if it would impact it positively. Like, you don't know which way would be better for you. You don't think that he would be mad either way, but you don't know which one would be preferable for you. For me personally? Uh, well, I presume you were or speaking in, in, in terms of your relationship with him, which would be, oh. you know, 
a positive upturn in the relationship versus a negative one. Which one would produce more of a positive upturn? Okay. You aren't sure. So I ask him. I, I say, so tell me about Neverwinter again. What? What? How do you feel about Neverwinter? Uh, it's a rather large city that I sell metal and stuff to in my works. And what do you think about the Lords Alliance? They're a governing body that, well, I so they're a alliance of governing bodies that pretty much well manages this entire area. They, no, but what do you think well. about it? You just told me what it is. Yeah, that's basically what I think about them. That's what they are. I don't huh. think much about either of them, really. I mean... Oh, okay. And then I say, Lazarus, I think we can go with the with with your idea. I, I think we can do that. All right. Uh, um, and then so Blackjack says, "All right, so Mr. Dwarf, Mr. Rockseeker, we will help, or I will help you get your mine, and we will strike a deal with the Lord's Alliance. We will strike a deal." Um, to provide them with this keep, which they can upkeep, maintain, and um, they will create new trade routes for Fandalen, and we will advertise that a new mine will be opened, um, and that way you get more traffic and more customers, I hope. And we would like to know what kind of offer on this a uh, procedure that we will take place with this keep and this advertisement. What can you provide us in terms of fiduciary reciprocity, reciprocity, or whatever? Fancy word. Nice try. Fancy. I tried. I know what the word is. I could probably spell it. Probably. I believe it's reciprocity. Reciprocity. Okay. Yeah. I believe that's the one you're going. To. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, okay. it depends on how how profitable the mine itself is. Now, we, I basically, based upon what we know, the mine wasn't played out at all, so it should still have a large amount of ores left in it. So, based upon that assessment, I would be willing to offer your party five percent. I look at the people in the cart. I give a thumbs up. Yeah, five percent over all of you. <sighs> oh wait, five percent over all of us. Five percent. So and that's one percent per tries, person. Blackjack like raises 5 his eyebrows of at the mines profits. Of the mines profits. Blackjack repeats of the mines profits. The mines gross profits. Well, no, that'd be net profit. Or you mean They're... gross? You want net? No, I think you're net intending profit, net profit. Net, net, net. I meant net. There's no such thing as gross profit, I don't think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's profit before expenditures. But that's not profit, then. That's just revenue. Oh, be quiet. Or gross income. You know what I mean. Okay, so yeah, so you're, you're just saying after everything has been paid for yes. and there's leftover money that, that everybody's living off of, he's taking that. And taking I say, 5% of that and giving it to you guys. I say... Who else is it? Just you and two brothers that would Me, control the rest of the share? My two brothers and whatever workers we have to hire. And whatever because workers you have to hire. Which would probably be 10 to 15 will work. Well, yeah, but I mean, you just pay them out of whatever percent of your profits. They're not actually on your Of profit, course, they right? aren't getting a percentage. They're just getting a salary for working. Excellent. So I look at my people... And I take a little bit of a breath here, and I say, how many, out of character, how many of us there are? There's four of us. Four. <laughs> One, two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I say, how about 12%? That's 3% per one of us. Give me a persuasion check. This is a very large keep. It could be a very profitable operation for you. I say. Um, let's see here. This turned into an episode of Dragon's Day. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Plus, 
this. And nobody can help me because nobody tried to help me. In fact, they're all like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, I I, I'm honestly fine. not sure about even trying to go for more, personally. Gunburn yeah. looks back at you and says, you realize how much money mines make, right? 5% Blackjack, is a well, lot. Blackjack thinks a little bit and he says, okay, okay, well, let's, let's go look at this mine then. And they travel eight. on. What? Eight divided by two is well divided by four is two each. So that was my goal. That was my goal, but my check was bad. That's why oh. I said twelve. I tried, dude. I could make mine. You, 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 in my opinion, like no other character could, because you said thumbs up, and somebody else said, "Yeah, I'm okay with that," and then. I can't remember what Albrecht said, but he, it wasn't really his idea. I think he said, and that he's just cool for anything, But I'm not looking for any profit at all on this. Fire, yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zing, Zing's thinking about this like that's one percent of the money this mic, this this mine will be making, as long Forever. as it exists. Yeah. So every that's a shit go, ton of cash. Every, every month we go collect our dues, basically. I know, but hey, I figured if I can get it doubled, then I can double it. Yeah. I'm trying to double our money. Yeah. Well, it's more than double, actually. <laughs> no, I was trying to double oh, our money by eight. going for 8%. Yeah, yeah, essentially, I'm assuming ours is really 4%. So, I mean, anyway. Yeah, so we travel on. I guess we're going to Fandalen. Um, and so I, I say, uh, so you think we should store these somewhere safe in Fandalen? Store, find, like, some uh, page storage or something until we sell all this? Or include. I think we should just include these weapons as part of the keep. It's Shit, you know what? I just had an idea. Um, how about this? What about could we get instead um, eight percent? And if for some reason anything endangers this mind, we can come help you protect it or help you clean it out, like. God knows what could happen in this crazy place. You get an owlbear uh, infestation, what have you. I mean, we're sort of already inclined to do that so that we keep... I, th I think he means long-term. I mean, like, long-term. But I think that they will get some of that service anyways, just from the lords. Okay, fine. And whatever. I tried. You can still make the persuasion check if you want. Yeah. Even though Mike just shot you down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. My front bad. And Gundren. What? You, he, you shot him down right in front of the guy he was trying to impress. Well, he's kind of disappointed that he didn't get a better deal. Well, I'm trying, and then... I know, I know. I ball know. shot. All right, well, there's my persuasion check. Persuasion. Gundren laughs a little bit and says, "Yes, it would be nice if you came back and helped when we were attacked. But what if you're, what if you're, who knows where? What if you're down in Waterdeep? What if you're up in Luskin? You wouldn't be able to come and help." Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see if I have any spells for this. You certainly could still get in touch with us. I mean, there's ways to send messages over distances. We just have to work something out. Oh, I'm not talking about getting a message to you. There are certain, there are quite a few means to do that, but it's more us you, getting there. You time. getting yeah. to the mine? We'll put a portal in the keep, guys. That was. I mean, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Reminiscing of of, of that. That's all. Well, we're in, we're nearing Van Balen now. <laughs> yes, please. After a night's rest. Oh, so wait. Are we new level? Is that a thing? Well, we got a shit ton more EXP from all the stuff that we just... Someone should tell Mike what experience we're at. I have no right idea. Right now, we are at 1800 EXP. That's without the ones we just fought? That is without the ones that we just fought. So, what does that make us now? Uh... We cleared out the Grick. We cleared out the hop goblins in the northwest. We cleared, cleared out the goblins in the north, and we got the owl bear gone. So 1800 XP plus something else. 
Plus, give me a second. I don't know how to add that. I'm glad we finally, like, we came to a decision. I don't know. I feel like I kind of made that idea. I had inspiration at the moment of, of like, a combo of mind equals profit, and they'll have more customers. I feel like that's a good decision, but I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, that, that Grix were a heck of a lot more than those goblins. I will say, the Albear was worth more than the others. Didn't even have to kill it. Nope, and that's actually specified. That's not right. Ah. Oh. Adding the wrong cell there. That's better. Four of you. Wow. How far are you guys away from next level? Uh, 900. Don't tell him. I thought it was something like that. You guys get another 400 experience. Twenty-two hundred. Right. A piece. Twenty-two. One thing I do like: it does specify that you get the experience for the Albear if you defeat it or if you release it. Cool. So well, you're defeating an encounter, but just not by murder. Yeah, that's, that's, it specifies that for a lot of these is if you defeat it or go around it or defeat it or convince it to stop or something. I like that about this adventure. They put that stuff in there. Though, granted, I think that's for new DMs who wouldn't think about that. Yeah, that's that's the way it should be, honestly. You shouldn't have to, like, kill something to get experience out of it. Uh, it depends. I I think it depends. But I agree with Albear for sure. Like, no question. Like, you, you shouldn't be able to get experience just from, like, encountering something and running away from it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not really. You're not really dealing with it. You're, you're basically. I think it's about overcoming. Yeah, yeah the, yeah. the way I put it is, you have to neutralize the situation. Be it a trap, be it a locked door, be it an owl bear in your face. You got to neutralize the situation. I right. neutralized all of the traps with my face, and it was very effective. <laughs> 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 okay, so we get to town, right? No, yeah, yeah, you get to town. We're looking for storage. Can we go to a store and, and see if we can use a place of storage or something? Well, well, which the which store do you go to? Oh, the Lion's Keeper thing, because we get bonuses. Lion Shield Coster. Yeah. We get 10% discount on everything. All mundane stuff. And you I was going to ask him if... You do you guys perform storage services? Uh, well, we can for you. What did you know? What did you need to store? We have a cart full of weapons. We can just store the cart. Keep it under lock and key so no one takes. For how much? Uh, I'll have to ask. Just give me a second. He goes into the back. He comes back. Uh, it'll be, uh, two silvers a day. Um, you got any special long-term rates? Uh. The best we can do is a gold for a week. Gold for a week. I turn to, uh, Lazarus and I ask him, do you think we're going to take this to the mine with us? Uh, probably. Probably? All right. Um, we don't need to store the cart, we just need to store all the weapons. Just so, I weapon. mean, like, a cart full of weapons is just the number of weapons that we have. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, we can just get, rent a small space to you for, like, uh, 
say, where was it? He shuffles, shuffles in some favors. We, we actually have something about that in here. Ah, here we are. We can rent you a small 5x5 five five space. 5 foot by 5 foot space. It's about tall or so. And you can put whatever you want in there. We don't care. As long as it doesn't, you know, get out and kill people. Or For uh, 5 silver a week. Um... Can we fit all that stuff in there? I asked Lazarus because he's standing right next to me so far. He's the one. Uh, we put our heads yeah. together, and I used my insight to determine. Fit all it that was stuff. five. By, it was by five by five and ten tall. Yes. Yeah, that's more than enough. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, because if you just put it all sideways, that's what it was like in the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you just, just put it checking. upright. Yeah, just checking. All right. We'll take it. Oh, I never told you what you what, what the weapons you found were. I should tell you what the weapons you found. Uh, that just sounds like some arbitrary large number of weapons. It's five spears, four long swords, three morning stars, two great swords, and a fine quarter staff. It is engraved with feathers and surprisingly only weighs one pound. Oh, okay, that that. that. Because. After shuffling through the items, I use identify. Fancy staff. Um, it's just a fancy staff. Um, as we're putting this away, I hmm. It weighs it one pound, pound, and it's not magical, and it's probably hollow. What's How much does a quarter staff normally weigh? How does much does your glass staff that doesn't is not magical weigh? Uh, his glass staff is magical. Oh. Super magical. Maybe this glass, maybe the staff is worth more money than maybe we don't put this in with those. How much for the staff? Wait, a I quarter can... staff usually weighs four pounds. Yeah, how much for this staff? It weighs only one pound. The guy examines it for a couple of minutes and comes back and says, I could give you ten gold for this staff. It's very nice. Is he trying to hustle me? The quarter staff is like the cheapest weapon you can get. It's like a silver. I'm piece. not asking you. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. Is he trying to hustle me? I would like to determine whether he is trying to hustle me. You give me an insight check. It's at least this much. Is the hustler? He does not appear to be hustling you. He appears uh -huh. in his interest of ten gold. I look at the other people and say, uh, "Are we? Are we okay with selling this?" And we already have one quarter staff. I would we need the second. Yeah, if it's not magical, it doesn't seem like it'd be useful for anything besides selling, really. Uh, Blackjack pinches his nose a little bit and tilts his head down, and he turns back to the guy, and he says, "For fifteen gold, you can have it." Roll me a persuasion check. Did you catch the drift? <laughs> let's see here. That's at least that much. Uh, let's see here. Flipping through the pages. Flipping through the pages. Persuasion. I get half my proficiency. Take that! Says, well, I could give you 12, I suppose. 13 and we got a deal. Roll that check again. I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe I really only can give you ten. They get kind of mad at me when I overpay. For <laughs> okay, ten it is. Here you go. I hand it to him, and I get the gold. Then I, I give the other three people each three gold, and I take a gold for myself. And then I'll pay to store the weapons, and we can store the weapons. They want one whole week. Of no, um, I'll go ahead and pay the two weeks. Or I'll go ahead and pay four weeks just in case. Oh, yeah, a whole month just in case because I don't know how long it's going to be. So I pay him. No, I just pay him the one gold that I got back. So everybody except for me gets three gold, and I don't have to write a gold down. 
Actually, I should have that one other one gold that I picked up. Um, yeah, uh, that other one, that gold that I picked up, I'm going to try to identify it, see if there's anything magical about that. The, the Glick gold. Glick gold. So you're using identify on the piece of gold? Yes, I am. I have not heard uh, a no so it is, far. <laughs> it is a piece of, it is a piece of gold. Okay, I also give him that one gold so that I can erase it off of my sheet. So we've got these, we've got all those weapons stored for at least a month. So while we're in town, friends, um, do we want to um, stay tonight? Yeah. Okay. I have a little bit of business to take care of. Okie dokie. Um, do you have time for an hour of... Uh, um, I think, do I want to do athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, I want to do athletics. Of exercise? Zang? Yeah, let's go at it. And you want... Do you, what, what, what kind of training would you want from me? Um, let's keep, let's keep going on investigation. I'm fine with that. Okay, I just can't ever remember which one you want. That's all I ask. There okay, was a point where, um, I wanted to practice on, on my diplomacy skills, but I, that can I wait. can't do that. Um, okay, so we, we do one hour of each of those, and then, uh, basically for the rest of the night, I'm gonna do the dragon chest thing, and then, um, I'm gonna pay a gold or whatever it is for the room and then I'm 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 paused for a moment. I I'm tired of talking, sorry. Well, uh I'm just going to look around town for that family that we rest. Um I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone, "Hey, I'm going to go talk to the um the mayor guy about the whole Lords Alliance thing." See what are you going to do? Seek's still here? here. Yeah, Seek's still here. Well, while we're here, what are we going to do? Yeah, what, 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 what do you want to do? I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not going to go to the mine with you guys. I'm probably not going to stay here that long. Okay, well, just let me know if you need anything. Oh, uh, hey, kid. Are you going to be going to anywhere near Ampale? Anywhere near... I'm, actually, yes, I am going over that direction. Why? Uh, could you drop by the uh, townkeeper there and give him this? What are, you, what are you holding out? Uh, a little pouch. Has money in it. Is it the pouch the amulet was in? Uh, no. Just a, just a, a different pouch. It's okay. Uh, so the, uh... The head honcho in uh, in there. And fail. Tell him that uh, Lazarus is sending it. Oh, all right. It Can should I... be... It is one healing potion and 50 gold. Okay. All right, thanks. You do find them in town. Um, I'm going to try and like get their attention and uh, talk with them and give their thing back to them. You talk with them a bit. They're doing all right, but considering that her husband's dead, they're having to try to find ways to make money. <laughs> well, first off, but they are I... but they are very happy with you giving them that heirloom back. Oh, I forgot about that. And also going to give them something. 
Was I the person who suggested to give it back? I can't remember. No, I did. Okay. Because you guys were like, let's sell it. And I was like, why not? Back? I didn't think I was at let's sell it. I was just kind of like, yeah. Mostly, I thought. And somebody wore it for a minute there. Uh, that was Zang. He wears any jewelry. Zing shrugs. I just realized something. What? In the part where you're in that basement beating up those thugs, on every single one of the things where it says for awarding experience points, it says if the party defeats them. So, I mean, if you lost, you'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you could join them, technically. Or they could just hold you hostage forever, or slaves or something. Oh, for returning the heirloom, everyone gets 25 experience. All Woo! right, man. So close. So close. You just, you are not close yet. We're like 400 or 500 away. Not that, that's like a, at least three or four encounters. Yeah, but we're so close. I'm excited. You will reach level four before the end of this adventure, which is actually expected. I believe if you do everything, it's possible to reach level five. Oh, we're reaching level five. That is what they they get, Chris. They are very, very happy with what you've given them. That is a heck of a lot of money to give someone. Yeah. Out of character, we still have to deal with this banshee. Um... I would enlist everybody else's help, because it is important to me. I would pay everybody out of my own pocket to do that. And I'll actually tell them that there may be job opportunities opening up in, in Pandalen soon. If they're good with mining. <laughs> oh, you really need to work on your discretion. The character's not there, so I wouldn't actually be saying that, but yeah. Man, that's not subtle at all. Well, not exactly subtle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've, that's one thing that I feel confident I can say I've noticed. <laughs> it's fun, though. And with that, he's uh, heading back to the end. Okay. Like, out of character, I really want to get to this mine and start chopping stuff up. Kicking butt. I did not waylay you guys at all. It was all you. You guys have a point. You did not what? I, didn't, I did not slow you guys down at all tonight. You guys oh, kept no, slowing no. yourselves down. No, yeah, well, it's a big decision. It's a big freaking keep. Oh, I know. I'm not saying you guys did like did anything stupid or bad or anything. I'm just saying you can't blame me. Oh, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying I can't. I'm excited. I'll look at the other. The other map's big enough. I had to put it on its own. If I made the map that you're on right now big enough to incorporate it all, um, it loaded slowly. Yeah. Sounds about right. Quite slowly. Chris, that isn't really that much of a an amount for like a mother and two kids, is it? Well, if you if you actually look at the squalid requirements, that's what these people are living on. I mean, that like just a few copper a day. So are you saying I should, like, cut it back some? No, I'm saying they're very happy. They're like, wow, this guy's really nice. He's giving us a good amount of money so we don't have to worry as much. Here basically, I was just... Basically, I'm just saying you're, you're being really nice to me. And here I was just going to be like... I'm going to buy a magical set of chain mail. 
you could if you could find a place that has a magical set of chain mail. Yeah. Okay, so I have to. I could save all the money that we've gotten so far for until after the mine, or I could divvy it out now. What would people want? Ross, that means you. Well, um, I'm kind of waiting my turn to talk to the shitty man. Well, this is like an out-of-character thing. Would you want the money split up now, or wait until after the mine? Mm. Split some money up now. Blackjack wants to split it up now. That's, that's I don't know good. what it is. Split if you're giving now. me any money. It's the money. I'm just seeing if you want to just wait until after the mine, so I can just nah. split it up then, or... Nah, just go ahead and do it now, just so that it's out of the way. Okay. While you're contabulating, I guess, um, and you can just type it in the chat so that, I mean, Ross can do his thing. Yeah, go ahead, Ross. Uh, okay, so I'd be going off to talk to the mayor now. If that's okay with everyone. I'm already gone, and I may oh, have made a mistake by already being gone, but I'm already gone. Master Saul, to talk to the town master. Yeah. You go! He's there. Okay, so Zing would just go in, and he just asked for a meeting politely, just going through the proper channels, if there was any other people there. Otherwise, if there's no one there, he just knocked on his door. You hear from inside the room. Come in, come in. Okay, so he'd come in, uh, and he had he'd he'd be uh, carrying the glass staff with him just to kind of make a point and just have it over his shoulder, not intimidatingly, but just like, hey, remember me. But anyway, uh, so he'd come up and he'd go, "Hello, sir. How are you uh, <laughs> doing this afternoon? I wanted to come by really quick and talk about something with." Oh, we're we're doing a lot better in town now that you take you guys have taken care of those red brands. That's good. That's good. I'm glad things are on the upturn. Um, you know, I had a thought. Now that the wizard's been taken care of, uh, have you considered uh, working with the? Uh... God, I'm gonna forget everything. Lord's Alliance. Lord's Alliance. Thank. You. Lazarus appears beside you, counting money. He's counting money while he's reading. <laughs> well, I think they were supposed to send someone down here, but I I don't think I ever met the fellow. <laughs> <laughs> to say okay. I am the fellow, I have the glass staff. Well, uh, the f wait a minute. <laughs> this was the guy they sent, the guy with the glass staff, right? Out of, out yep. of character, yes. Okay. Well, the guy they sent, uh, Zing will, would uh, take the glass staff off the shoulder, look at it, and squint at the staff. Uh, isn't around anymore, and then he put the staff back on his shoulder. Um, so, I would say that now that the wizard's problem is taken care of... Well, let me be honest. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how did you come to this position again? Just, just, just for my clarity. Well, basically, every year we have an election where all the people in, all the uh, influential people in town, get together, and uh, we basically decide, we vote on who we think should be the town master that year. And this year, it was me. <laughs> It was me. That's right. So short straw. Um, why not now that the town's actually on the upturn, get in touch with the Lord's Alliance and see if they can give you guys a hand? Would you happen to have any connections that would allow us to do this? Potentially, yes. Uh, but I would need to go back and talk to a few of my friends about it. I just wanted to know if you were receptive to the idea. Uh, yes, yes. We'd love to join the. Lord's Alliance. Okay. Well, let me go talk to my friends about it. I just wanted to come by and see if you were interested and take that for what it was and then go back and report with them. 
Well, yes, please tell tell them we we would be willing. We would be very willing to join. All right, thank you, sir. And then he will bow out and go back to talk to Lazarus in the group. Oh, uh, everyone also gets a healing potion. Oh wow! You guys have found a bunch of healing potions, and you haven't used very many. That's because we have a healer's kit, which is better than a healer healing potion. Most not worth as much though, right? Uh, healing potions are worth fifty gold. Yeah, not worth as much, technically speaking. And a healer's kit costs ten gold, but I get ten uses out. Of it. <laughs> we also have a life cleric and a monk who can heal, so we're set on healing. We have so much goddamn healing. I'm sitting on three health potions, and I just gave one away for free. I have 14 hours of oil left. Well, that's a heck of a healing potion. And... Just stayed quiet for like three seconds long. Much more awkward. Okay, so that done, I guess we're all meeting back up at the inn? Yeah. Um, oh, and, and of course, uh, in, in case I didn't say so when I came back, um, I feel like I'm having short-term memory loss, I'm sorry. Uh, That's literally just you, Rob. <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that's always you. Hey, I get it sometimes, too. I'm Not just having right, trouble. Right. I'm having trouble what following my again? thoughts tonight. Um, it's the Chipotle. It's taking over his brain. Shut up. Uh, uh, I talked to the guy, and I just asked him if he'd be interested in joining the uh, Lord's Alliance, yep. and he said he'd totally be into it. So, yep. there you go. Actually, do we want to go deal with, like, the uh, what's-her-face right now? Like, it's not... We rested on the road. So oh we yeah, could probably, we the could do bench. That, like, no, yeah, I think do... I think we need to do that later. The brothers are nobody's dying from the banshee. Well, out of character, I don't know where you guys are. I'd left. Where did you? I was where? talking about like we all gathered back up at the end. Yeah, nobody said we all go back to the end, or I, I don't know. I was. I, just... I did. Oh. So everybody is back at the inn? Yeah. yeah. I didn't have anything to do in town. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm playing Dragon Chess out there in the inn. Uh, isn't the Banshee on like the north side of town, which we sort of have to go through anyways? We need to go to the south side of town for the mine. Southeast of here, I believe. It's on my map here. Yeah, somebody told me where to put it. I thought. It's on the southeast side, I think. I, I said west, but I was thinking east. Well, let's just ask Gundren. <laughs> Since he's probably here, too. Gundren says, well, the, the cave on the map is pretty much dead east. Oh, dead east, sorry. And the Banshee is, like, north, isn't she? Yeah, it's up, up, you go up the Tribor Trail for quite some ways, and then you go from Oh, Conniberry. it's really far. It's, it is quite far up there. Yeah. Yeah, let's not do that first. Yeah, okay, let's uh, and just now, go. Don't worry, I'll pay you guys to help me out with that. There's no need to pay me. I'm just here to help. All right, then I won't pay you. Well, let's get headed to the mine, then. We can probably get there by before night falls. Wait, what? I thought we were sleeping here for the night. Well, we slept on the road, because we couldn't get to Fandalen by a day. I thought we said we got here in a day. Oh, if that's the case, then I wouldn't be hanging out at the end playing stuff. Uh and that's the case, I'm gonna go to the town master myself. Well then. So I go 
I go to the town master. Knock on his door. He is his. I have quick business, I say as I walk in. And, uh, and, and what business would that be? I would like a written writ, decree, or deed if you would. Cragma Castle now belongs to me. The, the where now? Cragma Castle, north of here, 30 miles. We have cleared it out, and now we must do something with it. And I need a decree, a writ, a deed, if you would. Oh, oh. Of legal so like a legal land, status. A land deed. Yes. Now, a um, claim. He, and he pulls out of actually fairly fancy looking map and says, okay, so tell me here on this map, where exactly is this place? I take out my map, I compare it to his map, and I point. Oh, that's quite a ways north from here. It's, you are the closest township within the uh, uh, shortest distance. Well, yes, I suppose you're right on that. So it would kind of fall under our purview. <laughs> I suppose I can draw up a deed for you. It'll probably take till tomorrow to get it done, though. Okay, I will convince my uh, fellow cohort cohort no, no, is is the names for the owners is it just you <laughs> or is it you and your friends oh blackjack thinks for a minute oh uh, i need Black, to know who the owner will be here blackjack says i would like you to put the name uh john charne on there only john charne all right. And everybody's going to hate me at first for that. Or they may find it not unreasonable, whatever. But my goal is not stealing. For, for the record, let the record show. My goal is not stealing the keep for myself. I swear I'm only renovating it for other people. No. <laughs> Black's like, Black, Black just like, fuck you, bitches. I'm going to make a secret layer. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, well, the reason I hesitated was just because of how it would look. Like, that was, like, uh, like, uh... I'm totally not an evil mastermind, no! <laughs> All right. Um, he said, okay, 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 then I'll put that name on there, and uh, then after the document's drawn up, uh, I'll sign it and stamp and seal on it. And You think it'll be ready uh, tomorrow morning? You... Taking uh, this joke too far. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be probably mm, mid morning. Mid morning. Okay, I go back to the other people as quickly as I can, and I say, "Can we please just stay here tonight? I've got him writing up the deed so that whenever we're ready, um, we can uh, appropriately deal with the inn, or the inn. We can appropriately but, deal with the keep." But we'll have to come back here anyways after we clear out the mine. Um. <sighs> I really don't want to have him waiting. It's it's a closure thing. Okay, but then you want to... Hanging. I just told him I'll try to be here tomorrow morning. Okay, then you can just tell him that you're going to go save some people's lives, which has been like your main motivation this entire time for us hurrying the hell along. He looks at you with kind of a puzzled look. Like, you've been telling us, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. People's lives are at stake, and now you want to wait an entire day because... We haven't been officially hired for this uh, this mine task yet, and it's kind of a loose contract. The contract before with, uh, you know, this dwarf, it was, it was pretty clear we were to get him to Vandalen safely, right? Yeah. Um, I think everyone's giving you a dirty, uh, dirty look. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, like everyone's just giving you this. Really? Like the jackal. Not Zing. Yeah. Not Zing. Not, Zing's not, not Zing. giving you a dirty look. I I appreciate that clarification. Um, because he forgot what just happened. Anyway, Zing so... is blackout drunk right now. Oh. I'm just trouble focusing. I, I need to actually. Uh, let me go get a drink or something really quick and walk around. I'm I'm not here right now. Okay. Um Drink yeah. alcohol. Then in that case, we'll do that. I'll I'll go do that if you guys really need to, we need to go right now. 
Well, we might mm -hmm. save the dwarves' brothers' lives. What do we gain if we just stay here that we wouldn't gain later if we just left right now? We get a... No, I don't need to be D explained past that. No, that's that's not unreasonable. Don't worry. All right, I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys at the car at the edge of town. How about that? And I go back to the town master. I say, hey, Mr. Town Master, can you please hang on to that in a safe place for uh, two weeks? All right, I'll keep it in the safe under my desk. And what administration fees do you charge? Uh, none, really. I mean, here's gold. It's just a piece I, of... I'm in a hurry. I slap oh, gold on the oh, table and I go. Okay, I'll see you later. And I'm at the edge of town, I guess, waiting on the cart. Or the cart is waiting on me. Uh, probably the cart's waiting on you. Fair enough. Because if we didn't sleep here, we didn't really have to put it away. All right, let's do this. On the road again. Overland. Hoping there aren't wild encounters. What? Uh, what did I say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the cool ways to use a new spell I <laughs> Yeah. Where was that tape? There it oh, is. Oh, uh, Chris, can you tell me what exactly Hugh does? Uh, I thought it had a, I thought it had a uh, thing in the magic items thing, but it's, you, you uh, just want me to like go. I mean, I mean, I can just tell you what it does, but well, it, I, I was looking, I'm hoping for like a little stat block thing, like they give most things. Oh, but, I think I have found it. Oh, wait, where is it? Uh, well, oh, it's not in, the actual I, description I, where you find it is, is all it does. I just Googled IV Hue and it tells me that it's a plus one battle axe that deals maximum damage when the wielder hits a plant creature. Or an object made of wood. Yep, and then that's exactly what it does. It's just, I was hoping there was a little stat block thing for it, but there's not. That is actually terrifying. It is actually terrifying, because that includes plant monsters and stuff like that. Bye, Trant! Shop! Oh, my leg! And if you get a critical, just go, bye. Bye. Now we need, we need a spell to, like, be able to turn things into wood, so we can combo them. <laughs> that is called polymorph or baleful polymorph. That's like a transmute spell. Is, is there a flesh to wood spell? I don't. Know. Oh shit! Is there stone? But is there a flesh to wood? <laughs> transmute maybe leather. Maybe pan. maybe you should. That <laughs> was a like a joke wood. there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> flesh to wood. Uh. Someone make an erection joke. I didn't. I just <laughs> yes. said. I just said I, translate meat to pan. It, it had to happen. The joke had to happen somewhere. Uh, oh. Mandatory. Mandatory. This is actually kind of hilarious. There is a sort of spell, but it is called... Oh, never mind. That's homebrew. I hate when I write Google stuff. It's like... There is what? not a standard spell that turns things into wood. That I know of. Uh, is there a skill called bark skin yeah that would probably work no it just makes their skin have a rough bark like appearance it doesn't actually turn it into bark uh, oh well so it's kind of sad that this this uh Axe doesn't also give you proficiency with the natures. Because then it'd be the lore axe. Are you making bad jokes? Yes. <sighs> that was awful. <laughs> I think he's making bad jokes. It's the lore axe and it speaks for the trees. Cool. Anyway. I'm sorry. Traveling overland. Go back into my table.
So I can roll this die. 1d12. Uh. Oh. oh. As you are trundling through the foothills, you pass some caves. And you see some more in front of you. They're not the one you're after. But you see something stumble out of one of the caves. I don't uh. know. We're fully We're rested. Up. Yeah, we are. Everyone's fully rested. So are we following the Tribor Trail or the... Guys, Myers. Over Something over. just came out of that cave. I, I don't really care. Well, okay. So just, uh, let's let's hold the thing. What's it? What's it look like? Where are we? Oh, where Do are you we guys at? have your cart? Uh, yeah. You have your cart. Where are we? Uh, it looks suspiciously like the other time you had an overlap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Except your uh, cart. The kid isn't with us, and I'm in front. Well, then move yourselves around. How do you know that's not the monster you're facing? Uh, well, if that's the case, I'd like to just uh, put my coat on the hook and just say bye, because we dead. Jesus Christ, it's a giant cloud. It's fog. Okay, never mind. That's not. Oh. Ow. Oh, he's large. This thing stumbles out of the foggy cave. What the fuck and, is that? And afraid no ghost. Does it look like it's attacking us? It looks mad. And it has a big old club and it sees you and roars. Rah! I'm rolling initiative. I'm rolling initiative. I'm rolling my nature chat first and then my initiative. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, I've got the solution right here. Are, are the, is the cart still going? Can the cart still be going? Because it can go 40 feet, right? Did it stop? No. You guys are over here, I guess? <laughs> Just, I imagine yeah. Blackjack standing up and yelling, WE DON'T BREAK FOR CAVE TROLLS! <laughs> FASTER! FASTER! I've got a solution to this already. So, what is that like with my 16 nature? That is an ogre. We, we don't deal with ogres. No, Sing says pass. We Very just... loudly. So you're going to try to run away from the ogre? No. When does Blackjack get a turn? Did Blackjack what? roll two? Oh, technically, yeah. We'd still be back to where we started, because I control the cart. Oh, well, that's gonna suck. It would be over here. Doesn't matter. Then you're gonna travel through space and time if I move you. You have to put yourselves back on the... At highway to the danger zone going through my head for a second there. Okay, so let me reorganize. Gundren with us? Gundren's the man. I can't move him though. Well, Albrecht is first. Well, still a question of. Back in the cart. So are you guys going to stop or? Yeah. On my initiative, things will happen. It's not your turn though. Exactly. So we move there. 
It's not my turn. Albrecht's turn. Oh. Let's say stay in the cart. I can see it from here, right? Like, yep. Okay. You can see him. I'll just cast Sacred Flame. Let me say, is it a Constitution or Dex save? Dex, 13. Dex save. You can't dodge it. The ogres are shitty at dodging things. Ah, he catches on fire. He goes, ah, ah. You can dash with a cart, right? I'm not aware that you can. I think you can. The you horses pulling the cart speed, can dash, right? I think. Maybe. Yeah, and he controls them. I'd have to use my action. Yeah, awesome. okay. I so hope I get a turn before you. I think everyone will get a turn oh. before I. It sings, Terrigan. Stay in the cart, Blackjack says. Zing will um, actually ready an action. If the the ogre gets in bapping range, he will bap the ogre in turn. <laughs> okay, it's the ogre's turn. Oh, that's uncalled for. But he doesn't have the speed to oh. reach us yet. He doesn't have the speed. Hello. Oh, totally lame, Chris. Oh, sorry, the ogre has a speed of 40. <laughs> Excuse me? He does. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you guys. This is great. Okay. He punches your mule. Oh, what? I put my shield in the way. That's adjacent. <laughs> He's adjacent to the mule. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus is like, I'm Captain fucking America, bitch. You should let him at least jump on the mule for that. That's that'd be funny. If you want to jump on the mule. Yeah, I can. I swift mount. <laughs> he jumps on the mule and hits the gets him the old shield. His shield knocks your arm wide, but he misses your mule. Wow, patong. Ah fuck. That really hurts to deflect. And now it's Blackjack's turn. Blackjack says, Yeah! Yeah! He can't see us now! As uh, a 15-foot radius um, darkness is casted... Uh, let's see. Put an aura on yourself. No. No, I get to cast it on stuff. Oh, then put an aura on whatever I'm, you're casting. Yeah, I'm cast on stuff. And I'm going to draw it. I want to draw a shape. Hold Alt for circle. Okay. So Stay, and if it's this. an object, you just put an aura on it. 15 radius here. So I've got to go about to there. Maybe one, two, three. So I got to go here. One, two, three. Yeah. So I go here. Alt. Oops. Nope. That's not right. Ignore <coughs> the circle. Ignore the circle. Area of darkness. Um, that's only 10 feet, so I need to go further up there. Nope, that's still not right. There we go, that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah, I say, yeah! What, you were, you cast, what were you casting it on? A piece of grass. Why don't you just cast it on the ogre? Because I need at least some of the horses to see. Good point. Yeah! My turn is done. Gundren's in up front, since he's the other person who can drive. Uh, after Blackjack is Lazarus. Fast, fast, fast! I'm yelling back to Gundren for him to take the, ra the reins and Get going. He pops like... the reins. I, I'm riding one horse. I can't get both of them to go. That's not. A... Uh -oh. That's not the right direction, oh, yeah. guys. Sideways. Everybody go sideways. Without the over. Jesus. You guys make it like over what? in the darkness somewhere. Yeah. You have safely fled the ogre. 
You get no experience. That's fine. You could have taken him. Yes, you could have. I thought that was the most expensive. And it probably would have taken less time. <laughs> what? That was probably, pretty quick. Probably had like 20 health, if that. Zing will just say that ogre was just defending his home, and that's all there was to that. So I didn't feel like beating him up anyway. Get out of my swamp. Wait a minute. You're not in a swamp. <laughs> Smash Mouth music plays unironically. <laughs> Fine, if if we see him again, we'll we'll talk to him and tell him not to do that. Uh, just uh, compare him to an onion, and he'll be happy. So you're telling me I should cut him up up like an onion? Eh. No, you're gonna float away in space as I move you back and forth. That's that's really weird how that does that. I don't know why. The, it's because the object I'm grabbing onto is a drawing, and you're so it's snapping you guys into a position when I have it out of position, so it moves you around. I'm just floating in space now. Uh. See, if I move you up, you go back into the cart. But if I move you down in a certain way, uh. now you're going out the front. Oh, oh, I left you behind. Okay. So well, are you guys gonna continue on to the cave? Yeah, I get back on the cart. Take her again. Okay, so are you gonna leave okay, so after a few more times of avoiding things that should want to eat you, you make it to where you believe the cave to be. Is this like a day, or how long does it take us to get here? Uh, it's probably mid-afternoon when you get there. Okay. Well, it took... So what time and... of day was it when you left? Uh, it was like midday, and then eight hours pass, and it was like eight, so we took camp, and then we did another... Two hours of travel on the next day. Got to, got to uh, Van Dalen. Spent like an hour there, maybe, and then we left. So yeah, it late afternoon. Be well, in, late. Yeah, from this travel. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's late afternoon then, not mid afternoon. So it's like five. And are you going to leave your cart outside, or are you going to try to drive it inside? Uh... Does it cave look does even... not look like it? you should drive a cart inside? I wouldn't drive it all the way inside, but I'd want it inside enough for, like, defense purposes. So, like, the mules... Don't just get mauled by a ogre. Or is there just no real place that we could just uh, put them? There is just no real place you could put the car. It's not big enough. Well, actually, if you drove it in far enough, you could, but that'd be a real tight squeeze. I mess up your wagon. Uh, yeah. We'll just have to keep the wagon outside, and I guess we can just let them uh, let the mules off. Scroll down from the top. You'll see what I mean. It's a pretty tight squeeze. Uh, a little tight there. I cannot see where we are. Very bottom, bottom left. Very bottom left. Where am I? No, no I... you're sorry. You were in the wall. My map has stopped working. Uh, try again. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. I cast light with my lantern. Uh, you got uh, it standing there. This is for comparison. Oh. 
Sorry. You're still outside the cave. Holy crap, this whole thing is the thing? This whole thing is the thing. Oh my lord. Oh, uh, Jesus. We can just Whoa. keep the the cart outside, and I guess I'll just un, undo the mules and let them... Well, they're... As far as the image goes, they're part of the cart. But that's okay. Yeah. So you'll bring the mules in, but not the cart. Okay, so... We'll get the mules before the cart. I'm gonna stick them on. With the cart before the mules. You guys will be down here. You peer into the cave. Uh, I use my lantern. Turn on your lantern. Do what? I said you turn on your lantern. You light it. And that's all I see? Well, uh... Okay, the lantern. In, now, what I'm going to do is reveal... Stuff. Oh, did we find signs of anyone uh, outside the cave? You found some footprints going into the cave, yes. Multiple sets of footprints going into the cave. Okay. I would, I would ask, uh, what's his name? Have, have you ever been in this mine? Uh, he would say, no, no. We just found out where it was, or at least where we thought it was. Okay. Let's go save your brothers, then. That's what you see. That is some stacks of supply. Hmm. Supplies! And uh, this, area, this area out here, you can see that it is a steep drop. Well, I don't you, can't see, be... you cannot see down the steep drop. The steep the drops emissions. down, okay. Are these like stalagmites? Uh, yeah, those are, that's three stalagmites exactly what they're okay cool okay i'll they are actually uh well yeah they're just big stalagmites i'll walk up closer carefully and keep an eye out for traps lightly otherwise otherwise it makes zooming go all wonky You walk into the cave more. Reveal. I'm just gonna reveal the whole cave. What's that purple stuff? Supplies. Oh, just supplies. Oh yeah, that's supplies. Oh, Boxes. Hammers. My okay. Lord, blackjack says. The what directly in front of you is uh, a large heap of ordinary supplies um it's just stuff nothing special it says uh let's see sacks of flour bags of salt some salted meat there's lanterns lamp oil plenty of lamp oil Sweet. um pickaxes shovels other other standard gear and off to the side over here while you're glancing around you see what looks like uh a dead person that's why i said my lord i instantly Lazarus is running. What? Lazarus is running over towards to him. him. Yeah. I say wait, and I, I, uh, as I think about what I've seen before, I look up at the ceiling to see if I can identify anything moving on the ceiling. You look up at the ceiling. You see some small stalactites, and of course, the big pillar in the middle of the room there. But you do not see any like you know creatures. Stuff? Okay. You do not see anything moving. Okay. Lazarus is going to check on them. Uh, they are very dead, and it appears they've been dead for at least a week. Uh, race? It is a dwarf. And in fact, you see Gundren look very, very sad. He says, damn it! Who killed him? <laughs> My laughing is out of character. Who killed I hope him? Your laugh is out of character. Uh. 
Well, well, we don't know, but we'll find out. Blackjack says. He points down and says, "This, this is Tharden." The what? Tharden. His name. Oh, Tharden. He's my brother. Damn. Zing looks around the cave and tries to see if there's any other uh, movement or anything. He's kind of concerned about people watching for some reason. He's... this is Pack? Uh... Yeah. Scott, uh... Are you looking through his pack? I'm going to gesture to it with Gundren. It's like, this is his pack. It might have a journal in it. Well, I suppose you should look then. I'll see what supplies he had. See what was going on here. I'll look through the pack and see if I can find a journal. He's gonna go over here. Uh, you search his pack. You find a bunch of standard mining gear. Um, nothing extremely special, and, uh, you, you do not find a journal. Hmm. Not much, then. I'll... I'll probably take, like, the bedroll here, and, like... Try and tear it up just so that I can put something over top of him before heading back to the group. As you are putting this stuff on top, holy shit! We have to cross that chasm, chasm somehow. Boots, not sh boots. Boots? Nothing, nothing. Boots, shoe boots. Oh, uh, I guess you can, yeah, actually at this point you'd be able to see this. I think I left it. Oh, it's a big pit? It is, it is a, a small pit. map. The northeastern section of the map. This is a collapsed area. So that's lower? You can see, you, yeah, that is significantly lower than where you are. I look down. I'm what? trying to see where it says... Okay, it's, it's about 20 feet. And you see, uh, easily, just looking around, uh, you can see in a nearby stalagmite, a sturdy hemp rope tied off, dangling over the edge of the pit. Do I see anything of interest in the pit? Besides you the give rope? Me a, give me a perception check. I mean, it's like, it's just a pit. I'm going to go ahead and head down, actually. Do you say that, or you just do I it? say that, and then I do it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We don't know what's down there. I know, that's why I'm finding out. I'll, I mean, I'll be back. Spiffy, jiffy, if something's up. Are these the caves that had to do with the Van Dalen pack and their magical stuff about? Yes. Yeah, I'll just bullshit, but then Blackjack would say, no, I don't know that you this is like some magical voodoo stuff we're dealing with. I don't know what's in here. Nobody's been here forever. It's quiet. Too quiet. Well, uh, I mean... You, you all the perception check, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Uh, yeah, you can actually see there is a uh, roughly hewn, a, like a path going this direction. Oh... I can see that? Okay. And this direction. And that direction. Oh, okay. Um, I yelled back to Lazarus and to, what's it, uh, T? 
to uh, Albrecht that we're getting ready to go further. Zing's going to lead the way down and go ahead and just say, I'm descending now. He'll take the rope down. No more objections. I'm sorry, Zay. Zing. I take the rope, and I go down. I actually saw the paths bran branching out in both directions. I just didn't I did say too. anything about it. Yeah, I did too, but I was waiting for him to tell me. Aw, uh, the sad face. Chris, you don't have that. That makes it even worse. I had to add it. Okay, I'll put them on, then. <laughs> well, you guys are going, you don't know what he's doing. You guys are going I know up he's in. taking the boots. I don't, but I don't know much more than that. He's taking that dwarf's boots. At his brother's behest. What? Exactly. And his brother's vest? No, at his brother's behest. I that word confuses me. His brother well, Gundren told him to take the boots. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well then I guess I wouldn't be so worried about it. Well, you wouldn't know because you didn't see it. But if he's wearing his boots and I saw him the boots. Yeah, you might go. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, but if Gundren's not making a big deal of it, then Blackjack's not going to. Uh, I have to look to see some. Uh. Gungeon, do you want to go oh. with us deeper in, or stay here? Huh. That is interesting. Blackjack should probably move to about here, or so. <laughs> is there going to be a freight train that just like plows through there and murders all of you? No, I did it for a different reason. Just... Uh, being very casual about uh, the reason. Sorry, I have to type this. Okay, I'll be right back real quick while he's typing. I'm that back. is interesting. Yep. What are we talking about? Ah, uh, just just something. Oh, jeez. Roll 20, please. Um, I asked Gundren if he wants to stay up here or follow us. I think I'll stay up here for now. All right. Uh, Deal with my brother, and then I might follow a bit later. Plus, All I'm right. not really any good, in, I'm not much good in a fight compared to you guys. If there's anybody down there who did this. Oh, well, we, we keep Blackjack around. <laughs> Jokes aside, funny. I think you guys should go. I'll, I'll stay up here for All right. We'll see if you come down, and hopefully it'll be... It'll be bit better down there. Yeah. And Lazarus is just heading that way now. Scaling down the cliff. But there's with a rope, rope, so yeah. With rope. You guys do notice he has new shoes. Well, I say they're new shoes. They're they're different shoes than he was with. So you're wearing the shoes of the dwarf. Gundren told me to take him. Um, I'm going to make my Insta insight check and just be like, okay. So what did they do? Odd, but okay. Uh, I feel a bit more nimble. Yeah. So I like. I mean, obviously, if he wanted you to take the shoes, then they do something. So they're, they're magical. They're magical. Right? Yeah. So you feel more nimble. Okay. I was looking for exact details, but... I don't know. Probably magical, considering they went from being on a dwarf to fitting a human. <laughs> from down here... Oh, yeah, actually, they, they did automatically change size when you put them on to fit your feet perfectly. Yeah, all magical things do that, I think, right? Uh, I jump a few times. Specifically, unless they specifically say they don't, they usually do. 
I jumped confused. You see him jumping around the cave like a fool. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's more just like up and down. You notice no difference in your jump. <laughs> what do I see when I look down this cave? Down this corridor. So you got your lantern out, right? Oh yeah, the whole time, even though they were dark upstairs, and that's why I conveniently moved away so I could shine as much light upstairs as I could. That's about what you can see going that way. And then I'd like to go down here and take a look and see what I can see going this way. Can't remember yeah. the distance on your laner. That's probably about right. I don't know. And then I tell them, I don't know which way to go, gentlemen. Man, I'm getting the feeling like this is a major cave network for some reason. And what what the heck is the floor like? Tiled over there? Oh, the floor is tiled both ways. It looks like. So what kind of mine has tile? It's I... way back out cave. It was a place that they oh, forged retarded. Never magic mind. items. I, I thought we were at a completely different place. Fuck, I'm yeah, an idiot. Yeah, did a. They did a pact, and stuff happened. Um... Oh, sorry. Never mind. It's okay. It's okay. Me, you don't me, know that it's mo, catch it tight by its toe. We go this way. No, I thought we were at, uh... We were at the, like, mine in town for some reason. What? Like, the mine in town, though, right? Yeah. So... Is this, like, a climb up, or just no, step you through it? through, I think. Oh yeah, you go under that. You go, you just go through it. It's like a hole in the wall, as it were. I swear, I'm trying to pay attention, guys. I'm. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. No, don't worry about that. I mean, let's, let's go through it. I'm waiting on other people too, because I'm falling behind. Oops. Oops. Excuse me. Okay. I go here. Oh, oh, well. Okay, there you go. In normal yeah, zing fashion, awesome. just like teleport. Surprise, motherfuckers! Yeah. And then zing gets shot up by five arrows, a steamroller. I can catch guy. one of them. Uh, he gets shot up by a steamroller. Dio would freaking murder my ass. It'd be terrible. <laughs> Dio would. Dio. Don't worry about it, Mike. <laughs> Body deodorant. No, okay, no, no. In this direction, this looks like a maze oh of tunnels. Oh my gosh. Do we follow the stay left principle? Yeah. Uh, we... That wasn't how I was doing it, but let sure. Me, let me read a little bit here. Yeah. The the way I grew up, Zing, Zing will say this out loud, and, and someone might find this funny. The way I grew up when, when, when spelunking was, the general <laughs> rule is right is right and left is wrong. So... Yeah, but you're you're sailing though, right? All right let me and... read the entire description for the area you're in. <laughs> this area okay. consists of numerous intersecting passages. The ceilings here are only about six feet high. Several oh, wow. of the passage passages, uh, well, you can't see yet. So they're only six feet high. Yes, you guys yeah. are kind of cramped a little Poor bit. Zang. Six feet tall. Poor Zane. You, you aren't squeezing. He's just crouching a bit. It's fine. I'm basically like World of Warcraft style stealth walking. Slightly hunched. You guys gonna move? I'm waiting on everybody's decisions, kind of. I was, I was. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, sure. You can see a little bit more going this. I'm just waiting for him to step up a little bit more, and I can step to the square I want to. That works. Holy moly, mackerel! Well, that's why I didn't like. Is it? I didn't see this area, so I was like, that might be another way. I don't want to walk that way, that far. Puts me out. 
This is a big freaking map. This is awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, this is like Dungeon 1, basically. And as you turn to look this direction, something happens. But um, we've been getting wave, wave at Echo Cave hype for like what three weeks now. Yeah, yeah. I'm and so more excited like for this. Four or five. Like I'm good for like five hours, guys. This is awesome. Well, uh, as <laughs> as you guys are there looking this direction, describe this. You see something oozing up from the floor. I stammer backwards, but As I don't know where it's. Up. I don't know where it's oozing up from. Get ready to kill whatever the fuck it is. As oh. it ooze, as it's oozing up, it lunges. Oh what? At the one person it's going to lunge at. It looks like a what? booger. <laughs> Zeke immediately like freaks out at this thing. It just his attack stops and he starts to back up a little bit. Wait, is it lunging at? He's just at so Zang? grossed out by whatever the hell this is. Lunging at Zang. He's like, oh god. Crit failed my initiative, guys. Oh, I guess I can uh, roll initiative. Sorry. My bad. The reason. <laughs> oh God! You see a a, a jelly like appendage reach out from the ooze as it's lunging, <laughs> trying to wrap itself around you. However, you manage to to move just enough out of the way. Thank God. But now let's discuss initiative. All right, I'll discuss. There we go. Okay, Blackjack, you see this kind of oozy thing looking in front of you? Yes, and so what Blackjack will choose to do when he can find it in the book... Gotta move Zang down below. Um, let's see here. His number went away. Here there we go. We go. He's going to disengage. Going to run away. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, you're you're oh, you're just doing that. OK, and that's the end of my turn, because that's actually about the smartest edition. thing you could probably do. My turn is done but as your character. Well, it's the jelly's turn and I'm I've got my crossbow oh, out and such. The sorry, -like turn thing. Done. He reaches out with a little jelly arm, tries to grab you again. You knock away his little jelly arm. It's a baby. Hey. And now it's Lazarus's turn. Uh... I just stepped backwards. I did not, like, run back with my back towards it. My, I'm still facing it. Wait, yeah, disengage doesn't mean run away. No, I know. I was letting everybody else know the uh, description I'm of action. I'm offering... I'm getting beside Zing to help defend him, and I'm taking out Talon and Lashing. You hit him! He's You find it's really easy to hit him with your sword. You take that much damage. And as you hit him, you see the cut you put in him widen. And it splits into two. Blub, blub. 
<laughs> Are they the same size? Yeah. Uh, I actually I have to make sure exactly about the size thing. Very likely. Uh, no. Actually, they are now medium size. Oh. They are one size smaller. Is one of them considered my original target? Uh, oh, you want to mark one? You can choose which one to mark. Uh, this one. I choose that one. Mark. Well, that's the one you're using from. No one uses... All right, so that's your turn? Uh, yeah. Oh, Rick. I clutch my symbol and cast Holy Flame, er, Sacred Flame on the one that's marked. It's Holy Sacred Flame. <laughs> Rise to make the save. It's dexterity. Oh, that's yeah, sad. Dexterity 13. Dexterity is terribly high. Oh, it catches on fire. Hmm. It's super effective. It catches on fire for that much. It wriggles in pain or something. You think it might be pain. You're not really sure. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Yeah, he does get a, the other jelly does get the get a turn this turn. This is what sac sacred flame does. Get, does to that thing. Uh, that's neat. Red hot he nipple ball. With his little pseudopod. Uh, which one? The one that's on fire or the one that's blue? The one that's right next to you. The, the, one right next. You. the one right beneath you. Okay. He's trying to grab at you. I batter it away with my shield. Oh, the slime covers the shield and gets on your arm. It burns you for four damage. Ow. And now it is Zing's turn. I am going to whack the jelly that is directly south of me with my stick. It's your stick. You don't want more jellies? No. No more jellies. No. You hit. You thwack that jelly. There appears to be slightly less jelly in the jelly. And then after I thwack the jelly, I will try to bicycle kick it to make some of the jelly go like flying out of the jelly. <laughs> less jelly. <laughs> this is logic. It's the jelly dance. You're Jesus. like doing. You, you're you you're stomped, like making you wine. That jelly. You perform river dance on. <laughs> There's a significantly less amount of jelly there than. Cool. Um. 
After that, I am my turn. I'm in a pretty decent spot. Jack? Blackjack takes aim at the one in front of him, and he fires his crossbow. Uh, excuse me. You hit him. Oh, sweet. Wow. Wait. Wait, you're talking about the one the one in front here, right? Yeah. All right. Um, He does a surprising amount of damage. Um, this, the, this, <gasps> plus hiccup. Afraid that is not a real bonus. A surprising amount of damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there's not very much of that jelly left. He's looking mighty tight. And that's the end of Blackjack's turn. He sets down the lantern, actually. Okay, it's this one's turn. Wiggles its jelly around and goes after the person directly in front of it. Which is not the person who marked. Which is not the what? He's going after Zhang. Uh, I am going to shield smash it. Okay. You hit. He keeps going. Ah, but you deflect his jelly arms again. And then it's Lazarus's turn. So, this one looks like it's very, very tiny. Right? Or no. There is a very small amount of jelly there. I'm going to try and shield slam it. Jump up some, and then fall down on top of it with my shield. You land on it. Split. It goes everywhere. Forgot. That one over there should have taken more damage. Well, he... Oh, is that one still alive? He's dead now. Um... I guess I'm technically prone, but I get over here and stand up. Oh, you're saying you're going to use that, your other attack? Yeah, I already did that. I thought you meant you forgot to add something to your uh, opportunity. It, sh it did. It's supposed to add an extra three to that. Oh, well. It doesn't matter now. Uh, that's in my turn. Okay. Then Albert. I'm gonna burn some jelly. All right. That take a plan. Twenty minus two. And he burns. Just a little bit, though. You burn a small amount of the jelly away. And then it's Zang's turn. 